team travel explore click live with flashpoint capital so he's on here today we're going to bring him in in a second just wanted to uh, say good evening everyone and we're going to start doing these live streams i think at 5 p.m pacific standard time so uh, that will give everyone an opportunity people on the west coast getting off at five o'clock and then people on the east coast at eight o'clock that should be a pretty good time hopefully and then central time Central time is what? <laughs> Seven o'clock or something like that. All right, guys. So we are going to go ahead and talk today about American Express and some of the new changes uh, that, uh, well, they've already really announced the changes, but some of the changes are going into effect uh, or went into effect yesterday. Uh, so we'll go ahead and talk about that as well. And then if you guys have questions, just put them out there and uh, we'll give some shout outs too. So make sure you let me know that you're here just by uh, giving me uh, a thumbs up or give us something so we'll know that you're here. So what's going on, Flashpoint? What's going on, Jason? How's everything going, man? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Everything's good. Cool. Uh, I can't complain. How's everything with you? Everything is good, man. Good. No, no complaints <laughs> over here either. Let me, uh, let me see here. I forgot to open up this real quick here because I can't see the chat at all. <laughs> oh so yeah, I can. Guys... See. So I'm good. Okay, as you guys, as you guys come in the room, just let us know you're here, just by saying what's up, and. Also, hit the like button, too, on your way in. That way we can promote this out to more and more people. And it's all about community here. So we want to make sure we bring in as many people as possible. Uh, the more, the merrier. Uh, the more people in here, the, the more information we can, we can share. So I uh, hope you guys yep. were able to catch. I just put out a video uh, a couple of hours ago just about the Ultimate Rewards program and how you can how you can use those points. So basically transferring to the different transfer partners, which I always, always recommend, always go with the transfer partners if possible, because you can get the best value that way. And I'm not saying don't use a portal at all. You can check the portal and see if you have, if you can get a better deal. But for the most part, if you're flying uh, business class or first class, you're probably going to get the best deal of transferring your points over. So that's what I showed you guys in the video. I actually showed you step by step, how I go through that whole process. I even showed as far as cashback, uh, if you have a cashback card, you can't use the transfer partners with a cashback card. So I showed you how you can transfer it up to the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve. You can tra transfer up Chase Sapphire Reserve, Chase Sapphire Preferred, and the Chase Inc. Pr uh, Business Preferred. So you can transfer them over and, and, and use that as, uh, you can use those credit cards in order to transfer into United or whatever transfer partner you wanna use. So I want to go ahead and post a link for that real quick. So please check that video out. Don't do it right this second, but just like you can right click and then open it up in another window or just go over to my channel and check it out after this video. Uh, and please, please hit the like button on that video as well. Uh, the more likes it gets, the the, the better it will do. The, the more it will, the more people will see it. And I, I sp actually spent a lot of time editing that video, believe it or not. Just I had to black, or not black out, but like, blur out some of the sensitive stuff. I had to look over it a few times to make sure the sensitive stuff that I wanted out was out. And so it, it takes a little bit of time to do videos like that. So I really would appreciate it if you could stop by, take a look at it, and then uh, please hit that like button as well. And comment on it too. If you guys have questions and stuff like that, please comment. All right. So just wanted to give that shameless plug there, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> so, hey, plug away. Plug yeah, did, away. Did you, what was the last video you put out, man? Uh, the last video I put out was my top five uh, American Express cards. Uh, you know, a lot of it was controversial. I did leave out uh, one card that, you know, and I was in the middle of shooting. It was a long day, and for whatever reason, I just completely spaced out. But I left out probably one of the one of the easiest American Express cards to use uh, in terms of like, you know, ease of use and getting uh, maximizing your MR points and. Basically, that's you know, I got I got some I got some flack for it in the comments, but you know they all were presenting it with love. You know, I mean, I even I even said, hey, you know, if you feel like I left anything out from the list, let me know. And yeah, absolutely, they, I remember and, you and saying they, that in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and they let me know for sure. And then and then once they let me know, I was like, oh man, that's right. And as soon as I finished the video, I remembered that card. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to go through the hassle of reshooting it. So I'll just let everyone just kind of throw, you throw that at me. You don't have to reshoot it, man. That's a whole other video right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, true. you just tag it to this that's video. True. Hey, you know what? 
there was one car that I really missed. I want to talk about it today. Boom. Now you have another video. <laughs> exactly. So, so we're plugging away, guys. We're plugging away. So <laughs> there you go. So go to the channel yes. and go watch that video and comment on it. You could throw hate on it. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> and uh, Jason's <laughs> link to his uh, channel is in the, in the description. So you just go down there. So if you guys have not, if you guys haven't heard about Flashpoint Capital, go over there, click on uh, his video or his channel, and then make sure you subscribe to his channel. Then you can see the video that he was talking about. Uh, okay, let's see here. We're going to give shout outs now, guys. So please make sure that you guys yeah. are, give us something. Give us a little emoji or something so we yeah. can give you guys a shout out. I want to make sure I give you guys all a proper shout out for being here. I appreciate all of the support. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's been great. I, I'm telling you, and I'm sure Jason could tell you the same thing. It's been great. Yeah. To, the warmth that you guys are bringing up on us, just being here and, and supporting, uh, really, really keeps us motivated and keeps us yeah, ready to go. For sure, the community just shows a lot of love, and that's you know that's basically what it's about. You know, I think that's such a positive thing. That's what keeps me going, coming back, and you know, trying to put out videos and doing this live stream with you on a consistent basis. Now, uh, is just being able to interact with everyone. So I, I really like that. Yeah. Cakeology, brother. Thank you very much for the super chat, man. Thank you very much. Man, Cakeology. So, what's up, bro? What's yeah. up, man? So Cakeology, you guys have he's <laughs> he's new to the YouTube scene, right? He's got a channel now. You got you need to check him out. He's got some really good information. If you have a business, you you have to check out his channel because he puts out some really good stuff about getting business credit. And yeah. uh, really has me really has me interested because I can get my business, <clears throat> excuse me, get like an LLC with my business. It's, it's its own entity at that point. And so what that means is some of the business credit cards I have right now, guess what? I can double up. I can get them for this for this business as well. Yep. Uh, yep. So it's really, really something you want to look into if you have a business. Now you can have two Amex Platinum cards if you wanted to do that <laughs> or two Chase Inc. card, Chase Inc. Unlimited, Chase Inc. Cash. So you can double up on a lot of those different cards. I think it's a, a really good uh, way to, to way a way to look at things. So check out his yep. channel, Cakeology, uh, and it's Cakeology with an I at the end. Okay, so check him out. He's got some real good content. And before before we start the shout outs, I just yeah. want to let y'all know, like me and tech the way cakeology was calling you i was over here thinking like hold on what's he talking about is he talking about a gun He's talking about <laughs> tech. you know <laughs> i like that though tech <laughs> no we didn't we didn't uh uh you know collab on our clothes like we didn't we, you know we didn't I, i'm i'm losing my train of thought right now but we didn't figure that out like that wasn't like hey what are you wearing i'm gonna wear black all right me too <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that that was total coincidence all right yeah. so we, didn't well, plan, you, we didn't plan that out <laughs> with me it's only a few different colors it's black <laughs> blue green or uh was it khaki <laughs> i'm simple like that <laughs> but uh yeah, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and do the shout out. Yeah, let's get into the shout out. So, Nate and Jess, thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate it. And we got Flashpoint, of course, in the building. Dolly, what's yeah. going on? Thank you for stopping by. The Joe Hill Experience, what's going on? Braveheart, what's going on, man? Stay safe, brother. What's up, what's up brother? Braveheart's in Florida right now, so he's, uh, yeah, he's hunkered yeah, down. Sure. All right, what's let's up, see. Jess? What's up, Jess? How you doing? Brian, what's yeah. up, man? Yeah, yeah. Who else PG, PG, what's up, PG? Vic says, what's up, pick? Vic says, my bad. I'm like, all out. I'm out of sorts today. I don't know. <laughs> no worries. Hey, we got the JSN experience. This yeah. guy's new. Haven't heard of him before, so that's good. We can talk to him today. Credit card maestro. All right, credit card maestro. I need your email, man. I wanted to email you about some, maybe some future, uh, a future interview, but I didn't see an email in your in your YouTube on your YouTube channel. So please hit me up. Uh, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're in our WhatsApp group or not, but uh, hit me up offline. I, I have my email in in, in my my YouTube uh, on my YouTube channel. Just go to the about page and it'll be on there. So just reach out to me. I'd love to have you on the show uh, for an interview. So please, please hook up with this. All right. Yeah. Oh man, I just lost my place. <laughs> Poophead, what's up, Poophead? <laughs> Zachy Chan, what's up, Zachy? Uh, Gage, what's going on? Thirsty Lion, Teddy Cruz, uh, Ma Maria, Jordan, what's up? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Tyrese Holmes, 
So he just said he just subscribed to Cakeology. That's dope, man. Yeah, good way to go, man. Way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah for you sure. Get some real good information. Experience. Life for business. What's going on? Corey Sanders, how you doing? Oh, Credit Maestro, he said we'll do, brother. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, see, hold on. Credit Maestro is here. So let me let me I, I told him on his channel. Yeah. He always has he always has that damn doorbell on his <laughs> on his videos. And I swear, like I said, back back when I was living in my house, like before I before I moved, uh, I swear I was watching one of his videos and I was like, I was sitting here like this, like, yo, what did someone just ring my doorbell and then I saw no one there? And then I rewinded the video. And then the doorbell rang again. I was like, man, if I ever see you, I'm going to kick you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> funny, man. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. That is funny. That's funny. All right. Yeah. So um, let's see. We're going to talk about American Express today, right? And there there, there have been a few changes. I'm going to let Jason kick it off with, with some of the things that he saw. I will pull up. There's a good article, and Dolly posted this article in our WhatsApp group. Uh, for those of you who have not gotten into the WhatsApp group, you want to get in there. There's a few people that came in today. I think it was today. Um, but all you need to do is use the link. There's a link in the description. Just go down, click on that link, and it'll take you over to the WhatsApp group. Uh, and there's a lot of good information there, and we're constantly on a daily basis putting out new stuff. So uh, I put all my videos up there so you guys will know, like, anytime I'm going live and stuff like that. Uh, as well as anytime I'm premiering a video. Uh, and Jason, anytime, like Jason does it too, but anytime he puts out a video, you know, hopefully he'll be linking it too, to the WhatsApp yeah, group yeah. too, so we can uh, so we can get you all the information that you need when it comes to that. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, I definitely will uh, add it to the WhatsApp group. Maestro, man, I, you know, it's all love, man. I'll just mess with you, but I thought it was hilarious. So he said, he said, my fault, <laughs> but it's all good, dude. I just thought it was funny. Every time I hear it, I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm glad I don't have a doorbell anymore right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So if I flip this screen, I know it's going to take, take you away, I think. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I don't even see the. Live. I just wanted to show this doctor of credit thing here. All right, so we're gonna be. Can I slide you in this way? No, it doesn't. Or is that late? Let me see. We're just testing this out real quick. Okay, yeah. So we we just gonna slide you in like that. In the in yeah. In the future, I'm going to have it, you know, set up so we're on both sides. But for right now, we're going to do it this way. All right, guys. So uh, here's the information here from Doctor of Credit. And this is a pretty good article where he just talks about this whole thing. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cutthroat, and uh, I, I'm hoping that <laughs> other credit card companies don't follow suit. I mean, I know American Express is a charge card, or they have charge cards, and, and that's, uh, let's see, audio went out. Did we lose our audio here? Let's see, Dolly just gave me a message here. Can you guys hear me? Is everything okay? If not, let me know. Uh, no audio from Flash. So, Flash, your audio's. Can I hear you now? Can I hear you now? We can hear you. 
not flash. Okay, let me let me see if. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You know what it is. <laughs> I don't think we can share that screen. All right, can you guys hear him now? Oh, hold on, hold on. They're not gonna hear you now either. Hold on. <laughs> okay, now can you guys hear? Him? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, they should be able to hear you. <laughs> I hope so. All right, so I need to do some things on my end. I gotta, I gotta change some things. Let, let me know if you guys can hear him right now. Got it. What about now? Yeah, no, no, can't. can't hear me. Okay, so yeah, I have to set up. I have all these different scenes, and one of the scenes is the the show the screen. But I just realized now, if I show the screen, it's not gonna show. It's not. You won't be able to hear his audio. So we we can't show the screen anymore. I apologize. <laughs> The next live stream, I'll have everything set up so we can show the screen and all that, and we'll have them all set up. But basically, it will take him away if, if it's not. Okay, okay, so now you can hear me. Okay, so should I go ahead and yeah, you, re you, you're gonna have to rewind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so so basically, <laughs> basically, we're just gonna get started. We're talking about the American Express card or the American Express changes. And so, uh, first off, let me let me lead off with this. So, American Express, I think they're 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 well, they're a smart company, and so they they put out the the change, right? The four four points for every dollar spent worldwide at restaurants. They put that out first, and that gets everybody excited, right? But then yeah. they say, oh yeah, but there's more, <laughs> and the more that they had, they didn't really want to talk about. So they yeah, kind of pushed yeah. it off a couple of months, so people maybe would forget about it and just think, okay, well, this is the uh, this is the positive stuff, uh, right? See. So the what It'll they were putting there. off, I mean, it's 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 kind of been a rumor, but I mean, you know, some people kind of dropped it, uh, dropped it out on you know on their websites and stuff. But uh, basically, American Express is like not wanting any late payments. They want everything on time because if you don't pay by the due date then you're going to forfeit those membership award points that you earned. And so this can be bad. Let's say someone I was saying earlier, let's say someone is trying to book, you know, transfer those membership award points to an airline partner. And basically they're trying to top off their points for that, you know, given month or a month ahead of time, whatever it is. And, you know, they don't have their uh, account set up on auto pay and they miss the payment date by one day then guess what? They just forfeited all of those membership award points that they were trying to earn. So that way they could like book their flight, you know, or whatever it is, book their trip, uh, whatever it may be. And then now they have to figure out another way out how to get, you know, uh, their, you know, their trip booked or their flight booked. Um, so I think that's, I think that's a bit extreme in my opinion for, uh, American Express to do that. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe what they're doing is they're either, just cracking down on, you know, because maybe people are getting the American Express points and they're not really uh, doing, they're not really doing anything uh, in terms of making payments, you know, uh, so they're probably holding a lot of debt uh, themselves. Yeah, yeah. And I just hope, I hope this doesn't, <laughs> this isn't uh, a precursor to some of the other credit card companies jumping on board and saying, okay, if you get a, if if you have to make a if it's a, if you have a late payment, then we're gonna not gonna give you those points for the for the uh, month. So, right, right. Yeah. Well, hopefully that's not gonna be the case. But uh. <laughs> so so Gage uh, he asked a question. So you lose? No, no, no. You don't lose all of your points only for that specific cycle. So yes. you know once once the cycle, you know uh, you know just turns over. Uh, and you start earning membership reward points, you'll be able to earn those points again. But it's just for that specific cycle that if you make a late payment, then you're going to forfeit all of those points earned in that previous cycle. So, yeah, I, I mean, that that's pretty brutal. Though. I mean, if you think yeah. about it, if you're using uh, if, if you I mean, you can earn in, in a month's time, you can earn a, a pretty penny. Now, what about sign up bonuses? You hit the sign up bonus that month. Yeah. yeah, they they didn't yeah, say anything about true. that because, like, that's a, that's a good question. Yeah, because like the with 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 Chase or with any any credit card, they'll have the sign up bonus first three months. You need to spend a certain amount of money. Well, they don't show that sign up bonus until you hit that until you hit it. So like with the Chase Cash, the Chase Inc. Cash card that I just hit sign up bonus for, mm -hmm. it shows 
the points that I earned that month was like mm-hmm. fifty five thousand or something like that. So it was five thousand for my spend and then the bonus. Right. So if you happen to do a late payment there, are they gonna not give you your sign up bonus? So. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That would be uh I mean that would suck for one. You yeah. know, you're looking forward to a sign up bonus and maybe the sign up bonus is something that actually gets you to the destination that you want to get to and making a late payment you're gonna i wonder if that if that you know in, includes sign up bonuses that would that would, that would suck for sure oh, yeah oh yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely so and then, go ahead uh, i think there was a let me see so i actually have the amex business uh bonvoy card uh-huh. and i actually do so i have my player two as my authorized user and uh, I know that with most Amex cards, if you have an authorized user, they have a different card number and they have to get their own uh, app. Like they have to create their own account on the app. And so I know that with the authorized users, um, well, at least for me, I didn't know that this was an actual thing until I read it in the article about authorized users being able to uh like accrue their own membership award points and actually use them for themselves. Uh, for me, all of, you know, all of my player two, like um, all, all of my authorized user points had been accumulating in my own account. So I didn't know that was an actual thing. So that's, that's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. But yeah, but they're finally, no, you go ahead. Yeah. They're, they're getting rid of it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 So they're, they're actually getting rid of that. And I didn't know that was a thing. So yeah. after reading this article, uh, I, no clue. Had no clue whatsoever about that. Yeah. I'm making a, a few adjustments real quick. Let's see. Uh, what is going on with that? So, oh. I, who was it? Did Ask Sebi, Ask Sebi put out a video today, and I, I watched it just because it related to the topic that we had already planned, you know, to talk about. Mm-hmm. And um, I wanted to kind of hear what his take was on it. And I guess he emphasized that Amex is trying to avoid um, people selling their points. And Mm. uh, so what, you know, I knew this was a thing, like you could add an authorized user and then 90 days later or almost immediately you could transfer those points to someone else's uh, frequent flyer account. So I knew that was a thing. The Mm. only thing is, is they say you have to wait 90 days now. Now, I don't understand how that's supposed to stop someone from being able to sell their points because if someone really wanted to sell their points, then, you know, just wait 90 days. I'd wait 90 days. Mm -hmm. I don't care. You know, I'm in no rush for my uh, member. I I don't understand exactly how it works. So someone becomes an authorized user. Yeah. and And what you can do is you can link their frequent flyer account and then transfer your membership rewards points to their frequent flyer account. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's usually like one of the little backdoor, you know, tricks that people would use. But now they're making you have to wait 90 days before you can actually do that. And they're also making you provide the, uh, what is it? They have to provide name and social security number to the account just to verify it. And... I mean, if it's family, sure, but I mean, honestly, I don't really see anyone doing anything like that. Actually, you know what? Whenever I was adding my authorized user to my account, they made them call American Express and provide them with the uh, provide them with the social security number and the name and address that is going to be linked to their uh, card. Mm-hmm. So. I don't really think that that's really going to stop anybody. I mean, 90 days is, it's really not that long. Uh, you know, if you're willing to buy the points and just wait, like just, just go ahead and do that. Yeah. Um, and for the most part, I don't think you're going to have to share your information with someone else who you're trying to buy points from. You just call American express and be like, Hey, look, I received my card. This is the card number. Here's my social. And here's this to link it to that card. And you're good. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Any other stuff on there? I, I saw some other business stuff on there. Um, let's see. I think the for, forfeiture is probably the biggest, the biggest thing that people need to know about. <laughs> What's that? 
Yeah, I, I like I said, I think the the biggest thing people need to worry about is the forfeiting of your points. Yeah, I agree. I think that's probably the biggest thing is um Yeah, I think that's I mean, come on. Like what's the point of having be, well, well, I guess that kind of uh, reinforces good spending habits because mm-hmm. you know some people will will buy stuff that they can't necessarily afford right then and there, but they could afford it maybe two or three weeks from now, but they need it today, you know, something like that, like finance something. But I mean, you know, if they're saying you got to pay it in full, and and that was one thing because sometimes uh, American Express will say, okay, this is how much you have to pay for this payment period, but you know. From most American Express cards, you want to pay them off every month. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I always try to tell people that on my uh, on my on my channel as well. But um, you know, I'm curious: is you know, if, is that the full balance due, or is it just whatever uh, payment that they are, you know, saying, "Hey, this is what your payment's going to be for this month." So that's uh, <clears throat> if. If it's just a payment or, you know, if it's just some or if it's in full, then that's, you know, then that's really going to make people be a little bit more responsible in terms of their spending with that card. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it could be a good thing. But then for those of us who, well, for me personally, I have everything on auto pay. And that's just in case because, you know, I have so many accounts. In my opinion, I have nine cards. And to me, that's a lot of accounts to be kind of managing. So if I'm constantly switching between the Chase and the and the American Express app all the time. And with American Express, uh, they tell you when your stuff is due. Well, at least that's the way it is with my cards. Like they'll like if like you know how so for me on my Chase cards, all of my Chase cards are have the same due date. Uh-huh. Right. With my with my American Express cards, it's like I make a payment and then it's like sometimes they don't even let you make a payment. Like when you know something is is coming up like if you made one payment in one day or something like that they typically don't let you make a second payment on the next day because if, if you're if you paid your balance off uh, according to them then they won't let you you know uh, submit another payment so mm-hmm. uh, and usually they'll tell you hey your payment is due by you know February 7th or February 10th you know something like that so uh, that's I, you know, I, I just always have to watch, you know, but yeah. it, typically if I make a transaction, I'm paying it right off just for that reason. Cause it gets annoying just to have to try to anticipate when the due date is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's interesting, but then it, it, you can also look at it as a, how can I say that as a way for American express to not have to give you points. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. That's you know, true. It's a way so for them to save money because yeah, they're now they're, money. they'll get you with a late fee and they're going to get you with, you're not, you're not going to be able to, to use those points. So now they know they'll get their money on time. And even if they don't, they're going to get the late fee. Plus there's no, you know, no points for you. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So, so I see, uh, let me see. All right, guys, please uh, go ahead and do what you're going to do. I just wanted to say this real quick. The no, like no, no. button, guys, please hit the like button. We got about 17 likes, about 33 people in the room. So please hit the like button. That way it will uh, promote it out to more people. And uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel uh, so uh, you can get all the information that you need about travel credit cards, uh, both my channel and Flashpoint Capital. We have links in the description. Uh, so go ahead and check us out. So I see Brian and Vic uh, saying that you have to give your social and date of birth after 60 days. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So when I was explaining everything, like, I know I didn't say it, but like, yeah, I knew that. But, you know, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew that that's what, the, you know, what it was uh, in case they're not looking at the chat. So thanks to Brian and Vic for reminding me about that. So it's uh, after 60 days, you have to submit your social security number and your date of birth for the uh, authorized user, you know, so, you know, if you want to add an authorized user uh, to the account. Cool. Cool. All yeah. right. Uh, let's, let's get some more shout outs. We got a few more people in the room. Crypto, what's going on? Uh, HD chilling. What's going on, brother? Jeremy, what's going on? Nice to see you. Let's see. What's Gavin, what's up, Gavin? Yeah, Alex, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. Let's see. Anybody 
Oh, yeah. I think that's it. I guess we can start doing questions. If you guys have questions, go ahead and put it in the chat. So if you have any questions or comments about American Express or just about anything, go ahead and put it in the chat. And we'll go ahead and do some Q&A right now. Yeah. So uh, Maestro said paid in full keeps me in check. Now, Maestro, are you talking about the movie paid in full? Because <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite movies, to be honest. No, uh, no I knew what you're talking about. I was just messing around. Uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, hit hit the chats up, and I'll be on top of them. How long should someone want to apply? I think it meant wait. Uh, so the JSN experience, how long should someone wait to apply for a new card? It depends, honestly, uh, how like your credit score, I think. And if you're doing different banks, um, if you're doing different banks, maybe 35 days, I'd say that to be safe. Uh, whenever I got my Chase Inc. cards, I waited about 35 to 40 days in between my applications um, just to be on the safe side because I didn't want it to seem like I was trying to get too much credit too quick. Um, and basically that's... Uh, that's what I did. And there's only been one instance where I did technically like an Apple Rama. That's what it's called. Like where you apply for multiple cards all within like, like a 10 minute time span or less. Actually, some people like to do it all, you know, uh, together, um, where they'll just hit submit, 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 like on different computers or different, you know, devices. And so that way it doesn't look so suspicious to the, you know, to the card issuer. But, um, I did that with my uh, Chase Inc. Unlimited and with my uh, Hilton Honors uh, Surpass card. So that's the only time I've ever done uh, two applications within like a two minute time frame. Yeah. And it depends yeah. too. It depends on what's your, what are your goals? Like, are you, yeah, because it, you have some people out there that that's their thing. They want to churn cards or they just want to get a bunch of cards all at once. Uh, but uh, for people like me who are really conservative, I don't get cards unless I unless I really feel a need to get one. So it, it's not a it's one of those deals where it's not a, a, a how can I say this? I'm not looking to get the next card when I get a card. I usually wait a little right, bit right. and then right. and then I'll go from there. Um, so that, that's just how it works. Uh, <laughs> Jason, man, you, I think your mic is. There's it's a lot of again? feedback. No, no, no. There's just a lot of feedback. Like, uh, I don't know. I guess it might be oh, your fan cool. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, I'm like, my office is literally right next to my AC unit. So, okay. if you hear any hissing, it's because my AC, my air condition is kicked on and it's just like super loud. Okay. I need to get better sound quality or just like a better microphone in general. Um, so. I'm just waiting until I can monetize my channel to start up in my, you know, my production quality. Exactly, and, exactly. Uh, so make sure you subscribe. You're at what? About six? You're almost 700, right? You're almost at 700. And, you know, that's, yeah. I mean, I posted two videos, did one live stream with you on the channel. Mm -hmm. And, I'll, you know, I had like 480 before my, you know, before I even started those three. Oh, that's good, basically. man. That's real yeah, good. So it's, it's jumped pretty quick, but, you know, if I can get a thousand by November, it would be nice. So I don't have to, you know, so I don't have to reapply for that whole YouTube thing. You know, you have to reapply for the YouTube membership or, you know, the partnership program. So you have to reapply. It would be, wait, wait, you were already applied or you were already, I don't know how. Yeah. So, you know, unfortunately for me, like I, I, I monetized, I requested monetization for my channel too soon. Right. So I did it in November. I didn't start posting until January. And then all of a sudden I started looking deeper and deeper into the YouTube rules. And it was like, you need 4,000 watch hours and oh, okay, 1,000 yeah. subscribers. And I know before that wasn't the case, Yeah. but now it is, it's like new rules implemented. And I'm just like, dang, like, I don't really have a lot of time to just shoot videos all the time. Like, you know, you see people, you see stuff come out and auto, auto, automatically they're like putting a new video out. And it's like, like with the American Express article, like I think it came out today or yesterday and all of a sudden, you know, like Sebi and a whole bunch of other people are like popping, you know, their videos up. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have that kind of time. So, <laughs> yeah. But the good thing about lives though, is you can jump on live and, you yeah, know, yeah, and get it true. out there. You can get out there before, anybody really if you want to just come that's on a live true. stream and say hey just want to talk about this and ultimately that's where i want to get like i want to have my regular live 
and then we do our live on Monday. And then when things happen, I can just jump on and, you know, breaking news, right? Yeah. <laughs> we could do that and just do a live stream. But I just need to, you know, I need to have enough people to get in there when I when I go live. So, we, you know, it'll make it make it all worth it. But, yeah, ultimately, that that is what I would want to do. Yeah. So um, here's a few questions. One from... Brian, Brian is saying, any ideas what to do with the airline fee credit now that the gold card uh, or the gift card hack is closed? So I just actually had some experience with my airline fee credit. Uh, and basically, like my nephew is a senior in high school. He's I just found out that he just signed for the Marines. And so as a thank you slash senior gift, like I'm bringing him to Chicago with me on Thursday. And I actually just got his points. Uh, well, I got his points. <laughs> I got his flight booked with points and then I had to pay the tax, which I mean, it's not a lot, but I paid the tax with my gold card just to kind of experiment. And basically that's what, you know, I'm looking at it and they credited me that back um, because I have Southwest as my, flyer you know that you know as my uh, as my airline and uh basically when i paid the tax to southwest that it was like 11 something they credited me that so i would imagine like if you're going to book points and you have to pay that tax pay it with your gold card or your amex card whichever one that you're going to get the credit for and just try to get the credits that way or probably you know if you want to upgrade seats see if the upgrade will will help with that which most of the time i've heard that it does or if you need to check a bag uh, if you don't have, you know, uh, free check bags or anything like that, then I would suggest just, uh, doing it for check bags or something like that. Um, you know, and then also I've heard of small, small purchases, like in terms of like a, a, a inexpensive, you know, flight that you might book like somewhere around a hundred dollars or, or less, um, that they'll automatically credit you that as well. So I haven't tried that just because I don't want, like, I'm not going to be flying anywhere else this year. And so there's no reason for me to book a flight and then just to test that out. Um, yeah. And then I tried to get them to charge me for some drinks on the damn flight when I was going to Mexico. <laughs> and they were like, nope, it's free. Mm -hmm. And I tried to get like three or four, you know, like, like try to give them a reason to charge me. And yeah. didn't didn't charge me <laughs> i had my card out like i'm telling you guys like i was like this i was like i was like all right come on come on and then they were like oh no sir it's free i was like god i was like mother mm. you know i was i was hot yeah was usually like, those machines are down anyway <laughs> yeah, even yeah, it's and it's some little funky machine too they're like oh, sorry sir it's not working you know so yeah that usually happens. but I, I swear i was so hot uh anyways <laughs> Uh, somewhat Gavin just got the gold card a couple of weeks ago. Does it take a month to categorize? So, uh, in my experience, yes, it does. And if you're in the app, you can basically just go to, let's see, you can just go to like the little icon where it has your like member account or whatever. And it has like the little person and usually it'll show you like, um, membership rewards. It'll tell you how many, how many rewards you have. And, uh, so yeah, so you could go right there and then you could go to, where is it? Oh no, just go to membership. Yeah, so it says the word membership and then you can just click on your membership rewards um, right there. And so, I mean, that's showing you my Hilton honors. Hopefully it doesn't show you my, any of my stuff. But yeah, I got 175,919 Hilton honors points right now. Nice. Uh, but yeah, if you click on it, for most times, if you just click on it and or go to, um, uh, da, da, da. yeah, that's pretty much it. If you click on it, it should pop up right there. <clears throat> or if you're on the website, if you go to, like, click on your My Membership Rewards, like, it'll say View Them, and then you can kind of see, like, all your points and things like that. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to access all that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, but usually it does take about a month for them to process. Like it's it's like, yeah, it's like behind a month. So yeah. Okay, Braveheart has a question. He wants to know what would be an ideal credit score to apply for the platinum, uh, and which credit bureau do 
uh, they use mostly. I'm not sure about the credit bureau, uh, and I know Braveheart. I know you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, so you're probably good. I mean, <laughs> I yeah. would say 700 credit score, 720. Man, that's to, probably good. Uh, so okay, so let me see. About about two years ago, right? My credit score was probably about at a, and this is from obviously like if you guys watched the first live stream, you guys know that my identity was stolen. Like my credit score was in like the 400s and I was trying to recover it. I was trying to get all this illegal crap taken off my credit and um, off my credit report and everything like that. So about two years ago, my credit score was at like a 680 and you know, I use Credit Karma and then I use the free Experian app and, uh, you know, Credit Karma, they'll suggest cars. They'll tell you like the odds, like, hey, you have a excellent, you have excellent odds of being approved for this card. And um, before I knew anything about points and miles, I was already looking at an American Express card. I was like, I, I have the, I have the financial means like to pay my cards off on time. Like, I, you know, I've never put myself in any kind of unnecessary debt. Um, and so I started looking, I was like, okay, I know my credit score is not that great right now, but it's around 680. I'm going to start looking at, you know, possibly getting more trade lines or more lines of credit. And so, uh, sure, sure enough, like, the platinum card actually popped up. It was the platinum and the gold. And then I just started doing my research and I was like, uh, I wanted to get the platinum. But then for me, I was just like real big on not paying high annual fees at the time. I just couldn't see um, the re or the logic behind getting a $550 annual fee card. And so I went with the gold card and sure enough, I got approved for that. And so they were both telling me that I had excellent approval odds. So, I mean, I guess your mileage may vary, but that's how my experience was with the platinum card. So, I mean, it could, I always recommend seven, you know, seven twenty or higher if you're going to get that. Mm -hmm. It's easier to get than the chase Sapphire reserve from what I've been told. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase definitely. Sapphire reserve is one of the harder cards to get. So yeah. Just Amex, gives gives their card. Amex gives their cards out like crack. Like they're just like, here, you want some crack free? Throw yeah. it at you. And you then know? they they stop. Like you can get a card, and then they they'll stop doing hard pulls too. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah, something yeah. else to to think about. So not every time you get a card, are you getting a hard pull? Uh, which yeah. Is good. So let me see. Here's another question from Jong Mo Kang. Mm. Uh, what is your favorite points currency and why? I'll let you go, David. Oh, you know what that is. <laughs> So I mean, I'm I'm kind of right there the same. I'm, I'm I'm the same with you. I mean, so David and I are both Chase guys uh, in terms of points. Like, I feel like they're just so easy to earn. They're you know, like you can just accumulate so many in, in, in such a short period of time. So uh, I I always go with Chase. Um, you know, I I was I was talking to him, I think I was talking to you last night on your live stream and, you know, I put in the comments or in, in the, in the chat that I actually don't mind using my points for domestic travel. Mm -hmm. And the only reason for that is because, you know, I have a player too who doesn't earn points. So I pay for her, I pay for her travel too with points. Yeah. And then at the moment, you know, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a father, so I don't have to pay for any, points like i don't have to pay anything for for my for my daughter to travel with us because she's still very young she's still mm -hmm. a baby so um i don't have to worry about any of that but i do have to worry about my companion coming with me on those trips so i have to pay those extra those extra points for those trips um but you know so that's why sometimes like it, it just seems a little bit more ideal to do domestic travel for anything um compared to, you know, trying to take a trip overseas or anything like that. Like, you know, I, so I don't, I don't actually mind using, uh, those chase points for anything domestic within the U S and, you know, I always feel like I'm going to be able to recoup those, you know, pretty quickly compared to American express points. Yeah. And, and, and just like Jason was saying, it's, it's so easy to use chase points and they have some really good sign up bonuses. I mean, some of the best right now, especially if you're going and get the Chase Inc. card, the Chase Inc. Um, business preferred, 80,000 sign up bonus for that card. 
Uh, then you have some other cards, the Chasing Cash card, the Chasing Unlimited card, 50,000 sign-up bonuses for most of those. Uh, and then it also comes down to what do you like? Like, what do you like as far as as cards are concerned? Uh, or not cards, I'm sorry. As far as uh, businesses are concerned. Hey, your mic is killing me, man. Yeah, I get a lot of feedback. No worries. So I, I'm going to lower it down when you're not talking, and then I'll open it back up. Yeah. Um so, yeah, it, 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 like I like flying on United right now, so it works for me. Chase works for me. I like staying at higher property, so Chase works for me uh, with that as well. And it, it, the main thing it comes down to it's easy to earn. My Chase Sapphire Reserve, I'm using that card anytime I go to a restaurant, anytime I travel. And uh, with, a, with, with, like I was saying, the sign-up bonuses, it just makes it, it makes it worth it all around to get that card. Or not get that card to st- to stick with that chase ecosystem. Wow, <laughs> I'm getting distracted, man. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, my AC just kicked off, so it's like all the hissing noises coming back. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to some more questions. It's funny though when yeah. you're getting feedback and you try to talk, you're thinking and you're talking. Yeah. And <laughs> sorry yeah. about that. No, no worries. No worries. We'll, we'll we'll get through it, man. We'll get through it. Let's see other questions out here. So, um, so one, one more thing I want to put out there too. Uh, I'm doing we're doing a poll here, okay? So, uh, if those of you didn't catch it on the on the stream, so we're asking people, uh, what did I want to say with the poll? <laughs> okay, with the new changes to American Express, uh, do you think is that going to stop you from getting the card? Yes or no? So you put exclamation point vote yes, exclamation point vote no. And then we'll we'll see the uh, results of the poll at the end of the show. All right. Okay. So questions. I think you said Jeremy had one or James had one. Well, yeah. So uh, actually, the JSN experience said, "How is Amex uh, outside of the U.S. Uh, acceptance?" So generally overseas, I you know I always hear that it's not always accept. I mean, it's not always accepted even in the U.S. So. Uh, you know, so I would imagine like you just have to kind of gauge your area, maybe do some research on how American Express is accepted around your specific area or in your country, I should say. But for the most part, like it's not really accepted worldwide, even though like they're saying, hey, now you can get uh, now you can use your gold card like at restaurants worldwide. Like, nah, well, it's really not worldwide because not every restaurant is going to accept American Express in terms of like just if you're outside of the U.S. Um, fortunately enough for me, whenever I went to uh, Mexico, they did actually accept the gold card there and they accepted uh, American Express uh, a lot actually at pretty uh, at a pretty good amount of places that I ended up going to uh, and buying a few you know buying a few things so uh, that's good to hear the only thing is is I honestly I, I guess your your mileage may vary I mean it's really up to you if, if you want to risk it and then you know all of a sudden you're not really finding yourself uh, able to use the card as much as you'd like to so yeah yeah and it's yeah just like Jason's saying it, it and not all cards are except I mean Visa is accepted pretty much everywhere, but you're going to go to some places where they're just not going to accept credit cards at all. So uh, there's always that that uh, possibility as well. Uh, I like to use my credit cards when I travel. I like that's like my my go to, and I'll have a little bit of cash as well. But I like to use my credit cards whenever possible. Uh, right. The main yeah. reason for that is I don't want to bring I don't want to have all that cash on me. So I would rather have a little bit of cash on me, and then use my credit card whenever I can. Uh, so yeah, that's my strategy. Plus, no foreign transaction fee, so that makes it uh, makes it better to use uh, for that right, reason. Right, right. Yeah, for sure. So um, James had a question as well. So James, go Bears, bear down for sure, hundred percent, dude. Uh, but he had a question asking about uh, the best Amex travel partner, in my opinion, in general. Now. I've yet to experience Amex travel partners. Only reason is because like I'm just hoarding my my gold card points, and um, they always say in this game you want to earn and burn or turn and burn. But I'm just I'm just holding off until you know until I'm ready to use them. So I actually have no experience with the Amex partners quite yet. But um, 
Yeah, so unfortunately I wouldn't be able to give you an opinion on that just because I haven't really looked into uh, the Chase Travel Partners as much. But I know that most of the time, like if you're going to use Amex points, you're going to use it for an airline. And most of the time you're going to want to use it for anything that's, uh, you know, uh, long distance travel. So like anything to Europe from the U.S. to Europe or, you know, vice versa from Europe to U.S., whatever it is. Um, that's probably how you're going to get the best uh, use of your Amex points, in my opinion. Cool, cool. All right, guys, uh, I see some people trying to vote. So if you if you want to vote, put exclamation point, vote, and then space, and then put yes or put no. Uh, capital N, and then regular size uh, O, and then capital Y, and then regular size, um, and then, you know, just, you get it, capital Y, and then rest. Um, make sure you don't put the little um, equal than, lesser than, whatever sign. Don't put that on there. Just put I vote yes, I vote no. Uh, if you put anything else on there, it's not going to record. Okay. Let's see. There you go, Mark. That's perfect. So Nate and Jess had a question. Uh, are you going to – There, I guess that's addressed to me. Are you going to snag the Southwest Companion Pass? Uh, Jess and I ended up getting the business card to get Companion Pass to hit up some family travel while our son is still eligible for lap seat. Now that's one thing that I've actually considered, uh, especially since I'm now at 424, uh, because now you can get two Southwest business cards to be able to get the Southwest companion pass. It doesn't have to be one personal, one business. Ever since they allow, or ever since they, um, you know, uh, created that new Southwest card, what is it, the Performance Plus or the Performance card, whatever it is, uh, they'll now allow you to get two business cards. So potentially I could get three, but I don't want to use a personal slot, like a 524 slot, on the personal Southwest card. So I may get uh, one of those, uh, I may get one or two of those, uh, but I haven't decided yet because I really do think there's a lot of value in the Southwest Companion Pass, especially if you get it in like January. If you get it in January, you get it, you get the Companion Pass for two years. So, yeah. you know, that's that's free flights for your companion for two straight years. So you're only having to use, you know, well, you're you definitely using less points, um, you know, the rest of the way. So because you're only having a book for yourself. Yeah. And so, I, I mean, that's a that's definitely a great strategy <laughs> right there for sure to get the Companion Pass. Yeah. And I don't have a companion, so <laughs> I'm not interested in getting a companion pass right now. But when I do have a companion in the future, then yeah, then I'll, I'll definitely be looking at the Southwest. I'm not a big, huge fan of Southwest, but um, it, it works. It could come in handy. It yeah, it, it, in it, handy. it works. With the companion pass, I'll, I'll, I'll suffer through it. Plus, if it's two of us, it's a little bit different because... Uh, we can kind of trade off window seat, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, and then and then the thing. and then the other benefit to the companion pass is that you'll have all those rapid reward points from the sign up bonuses on top of your spend, but then you can also transfer the chase points to Southwest. And so, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, if, I mean, honestly, I don't see a situation where only one person would burn through you know so many points in two years i mean you, you think about it if you're you know i think the southwest cards are probably like sock drawer cards <laughs> in my mm -hmm. opinion I, I really wouldn't put too much spend on them just because with all airline cards they're all you know you get crap for for using the cards so, oh yeah oh yeah uh, so it's a lot easier to to just redeem the chase points uh in that sense so uh yeah yeah and it's funny too i mean this is a perfect opportunity uh, for them to like an airline branded car to really just step out there and give us some real good earn possibility and people will go nuts over that card uh, and they fly on that airline even more. Yeah. But the the reality is airline cards are terrible. <laughs> they're terrible for earn. Uh, the only yeah. real thing that they're giving you is they're giving the free check bags and they're giving you priority boarding for the most part. Uh, but other than that, they're not giving you that much. Uh, Delta cards, I think, go the furthest when it comes to benefits. Mm -hmm. But uh, the the American Express, United, or American Express, I'm sorry, American Airlines, United, uh, even the JetBlue card, they're they're not that, they don't give you much. So th it's a perfect opportunity for one of these 
companies just to just step out there and see where it goes. And if it if if they lose a lot of money, then, <laughs> you know, I guess they could devalue their car just like everybody else does. But at least launch right. it that way and, and see where it goes with people. And I think people would be more receptive and jump in there and, and use those cards as everyday cards, earn points with those cards. And now, guess what? They're going to be flying on your, your airline a lot more. Now, right. granted, it's going to be using points. So, I mean, I know there's a partnership. So, Chase, I don't know exactly how it works financially, who's paying, you know, how they figure that out as far as if you're using points. Where does that money come from? <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it between the two of them or what? What do you mean? Who's paying for? Are you talking about with Chase and like? Uh... Yeah, let's say you have a branded deal. So you have uh -huh. JetBlue and or not JetBlue. Let's let's say you have uh, Southwest I mean, and Chase. Know, man, because I mean I don't know, man. Because I guess you have to ask uh, United for that. That those are your people. <laughs> they're, they're the ones who aren't happy with their deal. <laughs> well, so. but but because it's a partnership, where does like who who pays for the points like? I use points to fly on a trip. Who's paying for that seat? You know I would I mean? imagine. I would imagine Chase buys a crazy amount of points, you know, from whoever it is, and then, mm. you know, they allow you know, those points to be distributed however they want. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure how that how that whole business deal goes down, but. Um, there is a question for you from JSN Experience. Yeah, I see that. Do you do solo travel? Uh, how often do I do solo travel? Pretty much all the time. <laughs> Most of my trips are solo, but uh, I do meet up with people. So uh, there are a couple of groups that I belong to, travel groups. About and how many times a year would you say? So I travel usually three to four times per year. I would say out of the three, out of, let's say I travel four times a year, probably at least two of those trips will be solo trips. But I'm meeting up with people. So uh, when I say I'm meeting up with people, I, I be, I'm a part of these different groups. And so like Columbia is a perfect example. I'm going to Columbia in October. Uh, it is a solo trip. I'm flying out there by myself. Uh, but I'm meeting up with people when I'm there. Um, Jason, I don't know if Paisa Gringo was in here earlier. No, he was in the, the premiere uh, that I showed earlier. So he's going to be out there. He's part of the WhatsApp group Columbia. And so we're going to meet up. So I usually do things like that. So I will schedule my trips around times when I can meet up with different people. Uh, James, uh, James Syed's in here. He wants to go to Columbia. So he's planning a trip the same time. So we'll meet up. I'll meet up with him. Uh, so I like doing it that way because if I go with someone, then now we have to do everything together. And I don't want to sound really selfish, but if I'm going on a trip, a solo trip is a lot easier for me to kind of plan my, well, my activities thing, and stuff. So, yeah, 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 you can do your own easy. thing. Do your and own you thing. don't get, like, well, there's one thing. I, I remember back when I first, my first solo trip was in, uh, was to Paris. And I remember when I took that trip and I was really, really nervous about, wow, I'm going to be out here by myself. Like, what am I going to do? I don't speak the language. How am I, you know, I'm going to get bored. I'm going to want to come home. Man, I got to Paris and I was only there for five days, but I, I loved it so much. I wanted to stay even longer uh, and I didn't get the stuff done that I wanted to get done. Not all the stuff done because there's so much that you can do. Like if you think about it, if you plan your like, let's say you do a solo trip. If you plan your days before you get there and you have excursions set up and you have uh, like for me, I'm big on photography. So I set up a photography tours and and things like that. So I was occupied when I got there. I had things to do every day, and so and then plus when you when you travel solo, you you meet people. Amazingly, you'll meet people. Like when you're traveling with someone, usually you, you guys are just into yourselves. I mean, you, you're talking with each other and you're kind of doing things like that. Uh, you might meet people, but it's not really uh, the same as if you're traveling solo. You're gonna meet a lot of people just on the street, or if you do an excursion everybody's on vacation, right? So you meet different people that way. Uh, if you stay in hostels, I'm not a big fan of staying in hostels. I, well, actually, I've never stayed in a hostel, but that it's just not my style. But if you even want to go that far, like say you're doing a solo travel, most of the people in hostels are, so I pretty much say all of the people in hostels are, are, are solo travelers. Uh, yeah, so not you can meet people hostels. that way. There's just so many different ways that you can meet people. 
Uh, if you're in tourist areas, you're going to meet different people that are backpackers or that are traveling solo. So, yeah, it's really not that bad. Let's see. Yeah, so I probably have about time for one more question. All right, sounds good. Okay, so let's see. Make it a good one. <laughs> you got any questions yeah, that you yeah. see there? So far, no. I haven't seen any new questions coming out. Um, I just see, you know, uh, people voting and then, you know, people just kind of saying what's up. Uh, okay. Any other questions, guys? <laughs> Nate and Jess, uh, TC, yeah. I'm on Team Southwest. Yeah. yeah, I saw that one. I saw that. <laughs> other people asking for an invite to Columbia. Uh, Braveheart, hey Braveheart, you're always invited, man. You're always invited. Yeah. James actually hit me up. James Syed hit me up. Uh, I told him that I was going, to, or I had mentioned in the in the in the live that that I was going to be going to Columbia in October, and he had never been to Columbia. He wants to go to Columbia, so he hit me up uh, and asked me when I was going to be going. So I'm always open to meet up with people. So anytime, like if you guys, if you if you want to go out to Columbia, come on down. We'll have a blast. Uh, Braveheart, you could fly out there, man. <laughs> you, could, you could be the pilot. Yeah, seriously. So I, I see a question. Okay. Uh, do you see the last question down here? You let uh, me know. The war travel example live? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little tough, wouldn't it? You'd probably have to do that live on, when it's you by yourself. Yeah, that's a tough one, though. Yeah. If you guys look at my video, um, if you look at the video that I put out, hopefully – Go over there and look at it. I'll post another link yeah. before we leave. Yeah. But just uh, because a lot of personal information is hard to well, actually, yeah. you, you you can't you know you can't cover it up while you're yeah. doing a live show. So it, it, it's almost <laughs> impossible to do. The only thing that I can do is like screenshots, and then have it all blurred out and everything, and then just kind of go over like kind of like a PowerPoint and show you what I do. Which that that's that's always a that's always something that that I can do. But uh, that's the only way. I can't do it like live, live. It just wouldn't work out. All right. All, All right, right, Flash. All <laughs> right, guys. Yeah. You have to so. take off. All right, guys. Yeah. I'm going to stay on a little bit longer. So we're going we're gonna to say, say goodbye to Jason real quick. He's, he's a little baby's there. So he's got to take care <laughs> of baby duties. Yeah, 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 yeah guys. So. <laughs> but, uh, so I'll see you guys ahead. next time, next Monday for sure. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's right. Go here, subscribe to his channel. <laughs> Go subscribe to his channel. Make sure you guys do that. And uh, thank you very much, Jason, for coming on and or not yeah, coming yeah, for on sure. for participating in our 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 show here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I, it's it's always fun uh, getting to do this with you. So you know, we'll definitely do it again for yeah. sure. Well, you know. So next, next Monday, Monday. So he's going. You're going to Chicago Thursday, right? Yeah, going to Chicago okay. on Thursday morning, and then, uh, you know, it's just a short trip, so I'll be back, uh, you know, what, Saturday. I'm, I'm going okay. for the Bears game, but then I'm also going to, you know, take my daughter to go see some family that she hasn't seen yet, so uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be on Monday, next Monday. It's going to be on, on uh, Jason's channel, so uh, yeah, just yeah. stay tuned. Yeah. He'll, he'll have all the information for you guys. Uh, we'll put it in the WhatsApp group as well as the Facebook group, so you guys will, uh, you guys will know what's going on. Like I said, I'm gonna stay. We'll do a little after hours right here, and um, and that's it, I guess, right, Jason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I'll, I'll stay on in the chats and uh, okay. Yeah, but as, as of right now, like uh, the uh, the streaming for me uh, has to end. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. I, I I know what you I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Keep a happy yeah. home, man. Keep a happy home. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. All right, brother. All right, I'll talk All to you right. later, man. All right, man. Take All it right. easy. Bye. See you guys. Peace. All right, guys. So uh, Jason had to go there. <laughs> He's got his baby in the background. Let's see. Okay. So I just wanted to talk a little bit more, see if we have everything. Uh, everything is good here. With the, If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to put it in the chat. And how's the voting going? Let's see. You got about... Six votes, huh? No, six, nine votes. There we go. Let me show you guys this real quick. We'll open that up so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. I don't know why this screen. There we go. There we go. 
So, will the new uh, changes to American Express stop you from getting an Amex card? And most people are saying no, uh, which is, I, I guess that's good. That's good that, that most people are still going to get the card. This These changes aren't really uh, going to deter them from getting it. And one of the biggest changes of the, 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 the whole thing, the big, one of the biggest changes is the fact that uh, that the four times points worldwide at restaurants, I think that really kind of um, made that American Express gold card even stronger. And that card is is a very, very good card to get. Uh, I don't have that card yet, but that's one of the cards that, that once I get into that American Express ecosystem, that's, I think it's a must-have card. So American Express Platinum is a good card, but I think the American Express Gold, for me, the way I would use it, it would work really well. Grocery stores, four points every dollar spent, and then uh, the restaurants, uh, four points every dollar spent. So... Yeah, so you guys can continue to vote if you want. Uh, we'll keep that open for for a little bit longer, a few more minutes. Uh, there's another poll that I want to do. And let's say we'll keep this open for two more minutes. And then I want to open this other poll up. So one of the hardest parts of doing this giveaway is trying to figure out <laughs> what card to what gift card to to have for the next the next giveaway. So I thought I might start it early. Uh, start the poll early and what I did the last time is I put the poll on uh, the YouTube community page but I was thinking you know what why not put it on here I think it's a little bit better to have it on here because you guys are the people watching and if I put it in the community page it's not necessarily everyone that's watching the live stream it's, just, it's out there to anyone who's a subscriber I, I might they might even put it out to people who even aren't subscribers so uh, I want us meaning the family, the TEC family, to make this uh, this decision. And so I've put 10 cards, 10 gift cards on there right now. But we can add cards to this list. Okay, so uh, the 10 that we have on here, we will have that for right now. And if you guys say, oh, yeah, you should put this one, you should put that one, I can add it and we can just have an ongoing poll. And then every... every um, every live stream that we have i can have that poll running in the background so people can can vote on it up until a certain point uh, right before the the uh, uh the the next one so just wanted to put that out there now i didn't have i don't have the amazon one on there okay i'm gonna close this poll off right here and then we're gonna open the new one up uh, i don't have uh, so this is the new poll here these are this should be showing up today okay these, if you look really <laughs> closely, I have 10 on here, and I'll, I'll read them off real quick. And you have to write it the way that it's written on here uh, in order to vote. So it's going to be exclamation point, vote, space, and then Hyatt. So Hyatt's one. Uh, United Airlines is uh, the other one. American Airlines, JetBlue, uh, Delta, Priority Pass, Marriott, Hilton. Uh, let's see. Target and IHG. So those are those are the cards right there, or the cards. I'm sorry. Those yeah, those are the gift cards that I that I'll be getting. Now I haven't decided on how much yet, <laughs> but those are the gift cards. So we can add to this list. So if you have other ideas, go ahead and put it out there, and we can add to the list, and we'll just keep it. It'll be an ongoing thing. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start that one right now. Of course, it's not letting me because I have one going. So we're going to complete this one, and then we'll go ahead and start this one. All right, so that is the way it's situated. There's only one word, okay? So, and I'll just go over this real quick so you guys know how to know to vote. It Does it say everything on there? Yeah, I think it does. Okay, so the voting will go just like it. It's going to have to be exclamation point, vote, hide it. Vote United, vote American, vote JetBlue, vote Delta, vote Priority Pass. One word. It's there's only you can only use one word, uh, so that's the way uh, that it that it co comes out. So Marriott and then Hilton, Target, and then IHG. Now I didn't put Amazon on there this time. If you guys want Amazon on there, then we can put it back on there. But I decided since it was the last uh, the last one that we did, 
maybe we should give it a break, but that's that's going to be up to you guys, okay? So like I said, I want to make it about you guys, so just let me know. Just let me know in the in the in the uh, chat what you what you think. Okay. Uh let's see. Did we have a question? Uh can the winner pick? I I would much rather have it like we know what it what it's what it's going to be uh than just than have the winner pick. Uh, I think it would be better if we all, as a can, you know, we were all able to, to decide prior to. Uh, that way, I can promote it out that way. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I'd rather do it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Braveheart saying yes, Amazon. So if you guys do want Amazon, okay. Now make sure, James, you put a space in between. So it's going to be exclamation vote. And vote is in all lowercase, and then space, and then height. So that's, yeah, just like Jessica. Jessica did it uh, did it the right way. And Braveheart, you put United. If it's not, this is this is one thing I don't like about this thing. I guess it did take it. Um, if it's lowercase, I think it still t it still takes it. Let's hope. Uh, looks like it's showing up on here. And let me go back to regular screen here. Okay, so yeah, so that I just wanted to put that out there, and we'll do some more Q and A for for about ten more minutes. That way, we can get the votes going and uh, see where we are when it comes down to what people what people want, where people want to. Let's see, does it show me how many votes? View active poll. Okay, yeah, it does show me how many votes. And I would, what I would really like to do, which I guess I could probably do that, right? No, that's kind of too big. Yeah, in the future, I'll set it up and maybe we'll have like a little somewhere on the screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing screen real estate because I have all this other stuff on there. But somewhere on the screen, we can have the poll going. Uh, maybe at least the, the top, uh, the, the top vote getters, I guess. We can, we can have that on there. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Okay, so Rashad, I guess you had a question or you made a statement. I, I don't know. I know Flashpoint said call the reconsideration line. Uh, let's see. I, I think I missed the uh, question. I applied for the Chase Sapphire Reserve today. Was denied. Okay, so Rashad, were you? What was what was the the letter that they gave you? Was it or the email that they sent you? Did they say? that you're impending or did they just completely deny you uh, and flashpoint gave you some good good information you can you can call the reconsideration line now if you are put to pending that doesn't mean that you were denied that just means that they need to look into you into your your information more uh, so uh, you still have an opportunity to get the card it's just a matter of they they, they need more information so uh, i would always would always recommend calling just to see like what if they can give you any information as far as why you were declined uh, if you were declined now if you, if it like I said if it was one of those deals where they you're just pending they need more information then you just call them and and that's exactly what you ask them like I'm just calling I applied for the card today is there any other information that you need and uh, I've, I've been put to pending twice uh, with chase and it's the business cards that that always that they always uh, put me to pending on. And so I've called twice and both times that I've called, I was able to, I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get declined. I just got uh, pending. I got like, uh, we will respond to you within 30 days or something like that. So uh, just something to, to think about. Uh, but even if you were declined, I would still want to know why, like what are, what was holding me back? Was it my credit score? Was it my, didn't make enough income was it um, what was it that that that's what I would want to know did was I not approved because I couldn't meet the ten thousand dollar minimum uh, credit limit or, or something like that uh, they can give you more information okay let's see the war on sjw's Okay, I just ordered the Sapphire Preferred card. Uh, how soon can I upgrade to the reserve? It's going to be a year. You're going to have to wait. 
a year in order to do the upgrade. So after, right after you hit that 95, or right after you hit the annual, right after you pay the annual fee again, then you're able to to upgrade the card. What I would do is call them ahead of time just to confirm that and confirm that you're eligible to for that for that um, upgrade. And then right after they charge you the 95, call them and say, I want to upgrade the card and then see if they can, they're not really going to waive the fee, but see if they can add that $95 to the $450 that you, that you'll be uh, paying to get the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Okay. Uh, Jessica's saying, uh, I had to send Chase uh, some additional paperwork uh, for the Chase Sapphire Reserve, but it was pending and it eventually was accepted. Yeah, so like like uh, Jessica's saying, if it isn't pending, then you still have an opportunity to get the card. It just means that they need more information. Okay, let's see. I always watch your show uh, while uh, I'm looking at my stock options and while in the finance forums. A great show, by the way. New credit card in my arsenal. 7,000 Discover, Discover It card. Okay, cool, man. Cool. I'm glad you're watching uh, Life for Business. I appreciate appreciate the uh, support there. Okay, so voting. How's voting going? So right now, it looks like the Hyatt card. Everybody's liking the Hyatt card. Uh, one vote for the Hilton. We have two votes for the United and one vote for American Airlines. So make sure, like I said, you do it exactly the way that it's very, very finicky. So uh, I see I vote United one here. I see I vote United. How many votes did United get two? I'm just trying to check to see if this is okay. So yeah, it looks like Braveheart, you, you did it. You made it a uh, capital. So I don't know, maybe in the future, I'm just going to put all caps. That way, when I tell people, okay, when you vote, when you do it, just do all caps. I think that would be easier then tell people, okay, do it this way, do it that way. Because it just looks like it's very finicky. If you put exclamation point, vote, you uh, space United, and you don't put United in, you, you don't put the U capitalized, then it doesn't take the vote. So, uh, I, yeah, I think in the future, what I'll probably do is edit these out and make them all caps. <laughs> just to make it easy and that's i can just say just all caps all right guys if you're in the room right now and you have not hit the like button please hit the like button because it will promote it out to more people and then when we do our rebroadcasts re then more people will be able to see it youtube likes to promote things that are getting likes if you get likes they like to promote it so uh, please do that and uh, we're trying to get to 50 likes too so make sure you you help us out with that and get us on that on that road to 50 likes so if you can please do that I would really, really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, ben, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. Will, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. Okay. And at Braveheart, I've been a subscriber for months. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know where that came from, but thank you for being a subscriber for months. <laughs> Let's see. Rolo, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Chase for an upgrade to the Chase Sapphire Reserve tomorrow. I'm hoping Chase can move around my limits so I can uh, get the 10000 for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Yeah, I mean, the Chase Sapphire Reserve is a great card. I don't know what other cards you have uh, with Chase, but uh, definitely if you have the Chase Sapphire preferred, you're, you, you get that Chase Sapphire Reserve. It's just it's worth it. It's, it's, a, it's a better card. Uh, all around better card and if you're traveling at all you can really use the lounge access the travel credit uh, all that stuff uh, that's one other thing i didn't mention too when uh, someone was asking about like what is your your um, ecosystem of of choice and that's another reason why i like chase they don't they don't give you the runaround when it comes to the 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 credits uh, like like american express they give you the, the you know there's different little loopholes you have to jump through and and you you need to register your airline before you use the credit and uh, they'll give you ten dollars a month or fifteen dollars a month towards uh, uber or um restaurant credits and all this stuff like that there, there are these different little loopholes they don't give you all the money up front chase doesn't do that 
Chase will give you that $300 travel credit with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. You're going to get the $300 travel credit and you use it as you, whenever you want to use it. There's no, they don't just kind of give you little bits and pieces and stuff like that. So that's another reason that I like Chase. Uh, it, 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 they're, they're doing that the right way and American Express needs to change that. And if they want to be competitive, I, I mean, I shouldn't even say American Express is already competitive. I would say they're both neck and neck when it comes to uh, the both brands. But if they wanted to have a leg up uh, because they, I mean, American Express has been around for forever. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, like, don't leave home without it. American Express, don't leave home without it. That was like the big thing. Uh, but they need to get rid of these different little loopholes. They're making it hard for people, and on purpose, they're making it hard for people to use the credits, and that's so they can save money. But by you making it hard, you're losing a lot of customers. Customers because people are just like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. What you have a travel credit over here is three hundred dollars, and you can use it for whatever you want to use it for, compared to a travel credit where I have to tell you what airline I'm flying on. And if I happen to not be flying on that airline, well, now I can't use it and I can make a change. I think you can make one change per year or something like that. Yeah, it, it's you, they, they need to, they definitely need to change that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what city would you suggest visiting in Canada? You know what? I've never been to Canada, so I don't know if that question was out to the group or just to me specifically, but I've never been to Canada. So I, I, I mean, I, it's always good to vi visit the capital city uh, because that's where pretty much, you know, everything is as far as like the government buildings and all that. So it's always nice to visit like a capital city, at least visit the capital city. But uh, I, yeah, I don't know anything about Canada as far as. Uh, what cities to visit. Okay. Other questions here. So Quebec city is, is what Nate and Jess is saying there as a, a city to consider uh, visiting Supreme deals. What's going on? I think people should also note that chase F I preferred is also a great card. If you don't travel as much. Yes. The, the, the chase F I preferred is not a bad card. I'm just saying when you look at everything, it's worth it to go with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Uh, even, even when you look at, I mean, look at the annual fees on both cards. You have a $95 annual fee for the Chase Sapphire uh, Preferred, a $450 annual fee for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And I know you're looking at that and you're saying, that, wow, that's crazy. So there's a big difference, right? But with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you can use that travel credit. And not only for travel outside of the country and all that, you can still use it think about it this way and just think the average person or just think the person that doesn't travel that much, you probably stay in at least one hotel room per year, or maybe two, even if you're not traveling anywhere far, you might be going somewhere with the, with the, with family. You might go up to Vegas. You might go on a road trip somewhere. You can use a travel credit for that, um, for different flights, any flight, anywhere you can you can use uh the travel credit for that so there just because you have just because like when we all say chase sapphire reserve is great if you travel you can still use that travel credit so let's say you're able to use that travel credit every year so now that drops that that annual fee down from 450 dollars down to 150 dollars, and then now that's where it does pay off if you travel more because you can use the the lounge, so the airport lounges, you can use uh, some of the other benefits that the card offers. Uh, but even still, think about this. How many times do you rent a car in a year? Even if you're not traveling, you might need, you might have a reason to rent a car. You use that Chase Sapphire Reserve, you get primary uh, insurance. So that little money that they tack on every day if you want to get their insurance, you don't have to do that. You're able to use your, your Chase Sapphire Reserve for that. Uh, so there are little perks that you can use to really bring that annual fee down to maybe down to zero if you really work it out, but bring it closer to that $95 annual fee that you would get with the Chase Sapphire uh, Preferred. And just using the card. So having the card and using it. We all eat, so we'll all, like, we, you might not go to restaurants that often. Uh, me, myself, I go a lot, but you have, you, you're also thinking about fast food restaurants too, so it's not just restaurants. 
uh, not just um, restaurants where you go and sit down, but it could be like a fast food restaurant. Uh, you can be creative in the sense that you go with family, birthdays. Usually you go to the restaurants and stuff like that. Take care of the bill. Have people give you cash if you want to do that. And then that way you're, uh, you're earning points with, that, with, that, with those purchases. And you're getting your cash back so you're not paying anything extra. Uh, you're just, it's going on your card. Uh, so just different things like that. But if you're using that card at all, you're going to be able to easily hit that $150 that's left over. Uh, so, I mean, let's say you spend 10000 on the card. And and I've said this before. Let's say you, you spend 10000 on the card in the, in, you know, for the whole year, you spend 10000 And so we have a $3 for every dollar spent or three points for every dollar spent and a one point for every dollar spent at the low end. So we'll average it out to two points for every dollar spent, right? So two points for every dollar spent. That's what you do with, with $10,000. Uh, $10, so that's, what is that? 20,000 points. So equivalent to $200. So that's already passed. So you, you got the $300 credit. Plus you have the $200 because you use the card. And you spent, put $10,000 on the card, which I'm telling you is, I'm not going to say that that's very, very doable. And I spend more than that right now. And I'm single. I don't, I mean, it's just me, but I'm just saying, if you use the card at all, you're, you're going to be able to put some money on that card and you'll easily be able to hit that annual fee. Uh, with the Chase Sapphire Preferred, however, you're getting two points for every dollar spent uh, on restaurants and travel, and then you get one point for every dollar spent on all of the purchases. So really, you're going to average that probably like 1.5. It's going to be a, a lot lower. Uh, so, uh, or not a lot lower, but it will be lower. So just just think of it along those lines. I always tell people, you, you it's good to have the Chase Sapphire Reserve because when you do travel, you you can travel your travel experience will be a lot better. Uh, lounge access and restaurant credits. I'm telling you, these restaurant credits are, uh, are a big, a big, uh, a big benefit. And when I say restaurant credits, for those of you guys who don't know, Priority Pass has partnerships with some restaurants at airports. And so you're able to go to the airport and it's you plus one. So you can go to the airport and you can get a free meal. And that meal could be up to $30. So and what they do is they just give you a credit. So they give you a credit for the for the the meal, and then if you have someone with you, they also get that credit. So now that thirty dollars becomes well, actually it's really supposed to be twenty eight dollars. Uh, I say thirty because I, I went to PF Chang's in Los Angeles, and it was a thirty dollar credit. So depending on I guess what restaurant you go to, it could be a thirty dollar credit. So if you have someone with you, then they get that credit as well. So you guys can eat free at an airport, which is that is in itself is is a huge benefit because. We all know how expensive it is uh, to eat at an airport. I don't care where you go at an airport. It's really expensive. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything else here? If you guys have questions, go ahead and put them out there. Uh, let's see. Uh, is David in the room? I didn't see him in here. Oh, yeah, here he is right here. <laughs> So David right now is in, so David Amex King, <laughs> he's in, uh, he's in Spain right now. So thank you for stopping by, man. Taking some time out of your, your vacation to, uh, to check out the, the live. I uh, really appreciate it, man. I hope you're having a good time out there, man. And, uh, please post some pictures in the WhatsApp group. So those of you who don't know, we have a WhatsApp group. We have a Facebook group. So you guys want to, you guys want to jump in those. Uh, you can get some really good information. If you want to talk with me directly, the face or the WhatsApp group is probably the best place for you to do that. Uh, basically, for those of you who don't know WhatsApp, WhatsApp is it's owned by Facebook, but it's it's just like a, a group chat. So people share information and pictures and video and all that, but it's more of a like a group text message is what it is. So I say group chat. It's more of a group group text message. Uh, but really, you can get a lot of information there. And you can also talk with people privately, too, so you don't have to put everything out in the group. But if you want to contact me for any reason, it's easier you, It's easier for you to contact me there because uh, I'm checking that periodically throughout the day. Facebook, I check every once in a while, but uh, not uh, not half as much as I uh, – not half as often as I check uh, WhatsApp. All right. 
Uh, let's see. And Will Walker saying Toronto for sure. So hopefully that's giving you some good information. Let's see. I hear that the reserve gives you uh, access to a select amount. Wait, to a select amount airport lounges. Uh, well, it's priority passes is, is, is the, they're just going through priority pass. So whatever priority pass has available, that's, those are the lounges that you can, you can use. So uh, for the most part, I haven't had too many problems finding a lounge at an airport. It is select. Yes. It, who It's whoever they're partnering with. So, but I haven't really had a problem like. There are certain airports that I have gone to that, yeah, they're, they don't have. <laughs> when I was in Hawaii, uh, where was I? In Maui, there was no lounge. Uh, Hawaii has some really small airports, but Maui, there was no lounge. Um, uh, let's see. In Kona, there was no lounge. There was no lounge, period. <laughs> yeah, I didn't stay in a lounge at all uh, when I was there. Now, there might have been a lounge at one or two of them, but I either couldn't get there because I, could, I had to go out to, out of the terminal back in or something, but I just remember I didn't go to lounges there. You might go to places where they're they're not going to have a lounge, and that's just just the way it is. But uh, yeah, they go through Priority Pass. That's how they work. And all your top tier cards, so your Amex Platinum, your uh, City Prestige, they're all going to have that same thing, the Priority Pass um, access. So you're going to get that same thing. The only thing is American Express, now they took away the restaurant credit, so you're not going to be able to use the restaurant credit. Uh, but all the other stuff, all the other lounges, you'll have access to that. Now, American Express goes a step further because they have the Delta Sky Club, and then they also have the uh, Centurion lounges. So they do have a little bit more. Um, more. But even with the Delta Sky Club, uh, you need to be flying on Delta in order to to experience that lounge so it's not open to everyone uh, now if you have like I have the United Explorer card so I have two passes to United uh, the United Club uh, lounges but I don't use them and that's kind of an emergency thing so if I do go to a place and they don't have they don't have priority pass lounges and I really need to go to a lounge or want to go to a lounge well, then now I have I have that option if they have the United uh, Club Lounge here. Okay. And Rashad saying, okay, I'll call them. Uh, they said, oh, I lost my place. They said it wasn't pending. Uh, it was denied. Uh, I'll wait on the letter and see why. Yeah, you, you yeah. You, Rashad, you, you can do either or. Uh, obviously, they will send you a letter, but... I don't know, just me, the way I work, I want to call them like, hey, you know what, what can I do to get this card in, in the future? Uh, they might send you a letter and that letter might not have that information in there. They might tell you something, but they don't give you like the full details. I would want to know. I would pick their brain a little bit and at least they could tell me, oh, you know what, you, you're over 524. Oh, um, you couldn't get approved for a credit limit of 10,000 or whatever. They, they, they can give you some more information. And hopefully that will help you out. Uh, Darren, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. The Amex Gold is a better card for me. I use it more than I do my Platinum. Yeah, you know what, Darren? I, I would, yeah. If I had both cards, I would be using the Amex Gold a lot more. Because the only time I would use the Amex Platinum is if I'm booking airfare. But other than that, I, I would be using the Amex Gold for, for everything else. So... Uh, and then with hotels, depending on what other cards you have, I guess if you use the the Amex, what are they called? Amex Travel, like their .com, whatever their little uh, website is, you can go on there and use that. But uh, for the most part, yeah, Amex Gold, grocery stores and restaurants, I would be using that all day. Uh, but that's what makes those cards good as a tandem because you you can get the benefits of the Amex Platinum and then you can earn a lot of points with the Amex Gold. American Express is really smart with the way that they marketed these cards and the way that they, they have the cards, uh, the way that the cards are because chase doesn't have that chase has a chase Sapphire chase Sapphire reserve. And that's it when it comes to, uh, how can I say this? I shouldn't say that's it because you have the chase freedom card. So you can use that. It has rotate category, rotating categories. You get five points for every dollar spent, but it's capped. It's capped at $1,500 every quarter. Uh, whereas it would be nice, and I and I and I, I've I've said this before, and I'm going to keep saying it until Chase listens to me. 
But that Chase Sapphire Preferred, like if you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, they need to have something else, another tandem card, just like the Amex Gold and the Amex Platinum. So have a Chase Sapphire Preferred Plus or something like that. You can raise that annual fee up to $250, make it comparable to uh, the Amex Gold, and then give us some of those similar categories where you're giving us uh, three or four points for every dollar spent on groceries and uh, restaurants. That, that they, can, they don't even have to. Uh, they don't even have to address the restaurants. They can put it, make it another category, make it gas or something like that. So it would give a pe- uh, give people a reason to get a Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Right now, the Chase Sapphire Preferred is trumped by the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So why get the Chase Sapphire Preferred at this point? Uh, it, really, you can't get it now. If you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you can't get you can't have both cards. So you're pretty much handicapping a card because of the way everything is structured. So make something else that will make people jump in and say, okay, yeah, I'll get that card. $250 annual fee, okay, yeah, that's worth it. Then give us a $100 credit. Give us a $100 travel credit. That's a regular travel credit, not anything where you have to jump through hoops in order to use. I think they have a really good a really good opportunity to, to pull some people in uh, to a new card. Uh, because right now, uh, and, and I always say like you you have you have the Chase Inc or I'm sorry you have the Chase Freedom card and the Chase Freedom Unlimited. You don't need two of those cards. You don't need the Chase. You don't need the Unlimited card. You really don't. They could get rid. They could do away with that card. Keep the Chase Freedom card. I like that rotating category setup. Uh, so keep that card. And then so get rid of the 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 Unlimited card and then create this Chase. Um, Chase Sapphire Preferred Plus card and give us some extra benefits. And I'm glad I'm putting this out right now because when they do that, because I, I, I'm pretty, they, they have to be thinking along those lines because you, I know they're losing a lot of people on the, the Chase Sapphire Preferred. I know they are. So if, you know, I'm glad I'm doing this now because I'm going to roll this tape back. <laughs> you can roll this tape. That's, um, that's old fashioned. But, you know, we're going to play this over. Uh, a year from now when they do decide to make this change and I, I, <laughs> you know i think that'll be cool anyway let's see what do we have seven what's going on brother thank you for stopping by also amex also offers access uh, to escape lounges okay yeah that's true i didn't mention that so you do have some other lounges there too uh all right let's see uh do any other cards offer ten thousand uh, chase hates to be uh your first ten thousand plus card well, and I guess, yeah, yeah, that that does make sense. So, if you if you have another card, and you're already you've already been approved for ten thousand, then you know that that you're in that ballpark. Like you can get approved for a ten thousand on a credit card, uh, but they they do look at that. They do look at that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so Nate and Jess is saying, Rashad, uh, they might want you to lower some of your limits on other credit cards, or sometimes you can have good luck at the branch overturning denials. Yeah, I, I, I would just go at it, Rashad. I would go at it with, with, yeah, what can I do to get this card? Like, what what are you looking for? Like, what do I need? Uh, let's see, Rashad, see, not quite 10000 but I do have a one at 8000 yeah, so they, they might be looking at that. That could be the reason. Yeah, please, guys, hit the like button. We're at 40 right now, and the goal is 50. So if you guys can, if you guys are in the in the building right now and you have not hit the like button, please do so so we can get up to 50 likes. It just, I know that usually, what for whatever reason, that 50 is the benchmark that they like to see. And once they see 50, then they... They really push it out to to more people uh, when the when we play the video uh, or when the when the when the rebroadcast comes out. So if you could do that, please just hit the like button, uh, and that will bring more people bring more people in right now. So it'll promote it now and as well as when we when we, the rebroadcast comes out. I don't know why I'm having a problem saying the rebroadcast. <laughs> oh gosh, oh man. Okay, so let's see. Rolo saying Chase Sapphire Preferred is good for people who do not have uh, the credit score or income for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Yeah, that that's fair. That's fair. And I always tell people uh, when 
when you're looking at when you're looking at getting cards, and I always I always push Chase first, and we all know the five twenty four rule is is the main reason for that. I guess I don't need to have this this in my ear anymore. Um, I always push Chase first. But that doesn't mean that you have to get the Chase Sapphire Reserve or Chase Sapphire Preferred or Reserve. Uh, some people will say, well, yeah, and that's, you know, Rolo is, is, is correct. Like some people don't, they're not going to get approved for the Chase Sapphire Reserve right off the bat. So maybe go with the Chase Sapphire Preferred first. But there are other cards out there that you might want to consider that you'll probably be able to get a lot easier, like the World of Hyatt card, the United Explorer card. Those cards, the threshold is even lower than a Chase Sapphire Preferred. And they're still going to work in that Chase ecosystem because I always say you're going to need, you're going to, I won't say need, you're going to want to have a hotel branded card and you're also going to want to have an airline branded card in within your Chase ecosystem because it just makes things a lot better. If you have an airline branded card, you get the free check bags, you get the priority boarding, you're going to want that if you travel. Uh, if, if you uh, if you get the the World of Hyatt card, you get the free the free night. You're gonna want that if you travel, even if you don't like it, and even if you're not traveling a lot, having one free night where you can just go. Let's say you you tell your 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 wife or your husband, hey, you know what? Let's go away for the weekend. Go away for the weekend. You, you use that free that free night, and then maybe pay for another night. That that works, right? And we all need that little getaway, and we all take the, at least a least a, a little getaway every year. Uh, so I always tell people, look at those cards too. Those cards are good cards as starter cards. Those cards are really good. The United Explorer card is an excellent starter card. Uh, if you if you if you want to travel at all, the United Explorer card is an excellent first card to get. And if I look back, if I uh, not look back, if I had to start today that would be the card that i get and the main reason for it it's it's easier to get than the chase sapphire reserve okay so and you don't really know where you're at when you're first starting out right i don't know if i get if i can qualify for the chase sapphire reserve right off the right out of the gate and so why not get some cards that i know i'm going to need so that cha- that uh, united card you can get the united card you get the tsa pre-check uh, global entry which global entry is what you want to get but you'll get both um and then you you get other the other little perks you're getting the sign up bonus you have a card right now you don't have to worry about transferring points over to united you have points on united already so if you want to do a trip right away as soon as you hit that sign up bonus and you're able to do the trip so there are a lot of things that that the United card has to offer that really will work in your in your benefit. Plus, you get the what is it two points every dollar spent on restaurants and travel or something like that. So you're getting that as well. So you, you, there's some benefits of that card. And it, I know the two points for every dollar spent is not great, but for someone starting out, it gets you on the right track. It's the same thing that you're going to get with the Chase Sapphire Preferred, uh, but you have uh, you have an airline branded card that's easier to get. Minimum spend is lower. What is it? I think it's two thousand, uh, two thousand dollars within the first three months, something like that. I don't even know the exact numbers and all that, but it's lower than the Chase Sapphire Preferred, uh, which is four thousand. So, it's it's an easier card to enter into the Chase ecosystem with. So I recommend that card, and I also recommend the Venture card. Venture card, I think, is a good card. But the only thing is, Venture's not in that ecosystem with Chase, so you're kind of losing a slot there. Just starting off, you're losing a slot, and it's a little harder with their transfer partners. It's a little harder to uh, the, the the value isn't there yet. Uh, their transfer partners, some of the transfer partners aren't one to one. So I transfer points over, and guess what? Transfer fifty thousand over. I'm not getting fifty thousand over. You know the airline that I transfer it to, like uh, JetBlue, for example. You're not going to get that. You're not getting the full value. So uh, just something to think about. But uh, definitely, you don't always need to say, oh, well, I'm going to get the Chase Sapphire Preferred because I don't know if I can qualify or I probably won't be able to qualify for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And then I'll wait a year and then try to see if I can upgrade. You don't You don't have to do all that. You can get some other cards and see where you are with those cards and then maybe just, just jump to the Chase Sapphire Reserve and not have to worry about getting the Chase Sapphire Preferred at all. 
Okay, 742 watching, 42 likes. Yes, yes, that's 100%. That is 100%. But if you are in here, we have 44 people watching now. So if you're in here, you have not hit the like button, please do so so we can get up to 50 likes. Uh, so if you want me to go away, get us up to 50 likes and then I'll leave. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll go into the question stop, but I'm just saying... Hit the like button, please, so we can we can get up to 50 likes. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, revenge, revention, or reventin. Let's see. Tried, Ame tried Amex many times, but got declined. How a complicated credit credit file, mini cards, installment loans, etc. Score 730 plus. A conclusion, Amex likes to accept first timers with the with thin file thoughts. I don't know. I don't have that much experience with American. I've never applied for American express card. All my cards right now are chase. Okay. So I can't speak on that. Um, <laughs> but have you, do, you, do you have any other cards? Like is American express? Are those the only cards that you applied for? Do you have any chase cards? If you have chase cards, uh, then it, it might be an issue of, there might be something, some reason why they're not, or why American Express is not allowing you to get cards, but it might not have to do with the thin file. So that's what I'm saying there. Okay. Uh, seven saying, if you want lounge access, go ahead and get the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Yeah. Okay, and Dolly's asking, uh, Reventon is, is, are you keeping a balance on your cards? Uh, and that that's a good point, Dolly. Too. So you 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 guys want to you guys want to make sure you're paying your credit cards off. And if you if you want to get into this travel credit card game, you have to play the game. And playing the game means not giving them giving them money, <laughs> basically. So when I say them, I mean the banks. Don't don't carry a balance. Always pay it off every month. That way, those points that you're earning, you're able to keep and you're able to use them for for travel. Uh, so yeah, you you wanna you you wanna be you wanna do that every time. You don't wanna be in a situation where you're not paying your credit card off. Uh, even I mean, people will say, "Oh, I'll just pay the minimum balance." No, you don't want to do that. Travel credit cards, you definitely don't want to do that because the interest rates are real high. So if you are doing that you're you're just giving those points away right you're giving those points to me <laughs> because basically it goes to the bank and then when the bank has to pay out the bonuses and all that they're uh, th that's how they're they're taking they're taking the 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 interest from that and then they're using it to to pay people who uh, are paying their credit cards off every month so you want it you want to do that don't be that person uh, Reventance saying under 5% usage, uh, Amex cited, uh, Lex Nexus, uh, let's see, Lex Nexus, uh, for my denial. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, let's see. Alex, Alexim, Alexim, I think. Let's see. I am, let's see. I'm at 424. And I got the Chase uh, Biz and Trifecta. Which of the Chase Hotel airline branded cards should I get? The uh, annual fee is not an issue for me. Okay, so you're in a situation now. You're 424. I would go. Okay, so you have a business card already. So I got the Chase Biz and Trifecta. So I don't know what business card you have with Chase already, but if you if you do not have the Chase. Uh, the uh, United Explorer business card, that's a card that I would go for. And then I would get the World of Hyatt card. That way you're, you're at 424, so you only have one more slot. But if you get that business card, and you need to get the business card first. So you need to get the United Explorer business card first, and then get the World of Hyatt card. Uh, that way, what you don't want to do is get the World of Hyatt card. Because if you get the World of Hyatt card, then now you're at 524 and you will not be able to get any more cards, period. I don't care if it's business or any or, or what. So you want to get the United Explorer card first, but the business version and then the World of Hyatt. That's what I would do. Both cards are great. Uh, World of Hyatt is is a really good, uh, I mean, I, 
if you if you like staying in Hyatt's, and maybe you should stay at a Hyatt first. But if you like staying in Hyatt properties, the World of Hyatt card is a really good card to to get. All right, let's see. ATC, quick question: I have the Chase Sapphire Preferred and JetBlue Plus a card. Should I get the World of Hyatt card? So, anytime people ask me, like, should I get this card? Should I get that card? Always know what know what you're getting. Like, no. If, if you're getting a credit card, you're going to need to have some type of commitment with you're going to or you're going to want to have some type of commitment with that hotel chain or the airline. Right. So. Stay at a height. If you've already stayed at a height and you already know how the customer service is, you already know pretty much what you're getting with the property or with, the you know, with the with your room and everything, then go with the world of Hyatt card. If you don't like world, if you don't like Hyatt then don't get a World of Hyatt card because you're not going to be able to use it. Uh, the World of Hyatt card, the only other benefit that you can get is the gym membership. You get two points for every dollar spent. Other than that, if you're not staying at Hyatt, you're really not going to be using that card at all. And then you're going to be getting free nights. And if you don't like staying there, you're getting a free night. I'm sure even though you don't like staying, if it's a free night, you're still going to stay. But I'm just saying uh, test the properties out. See see if it's if it's something that uh, that you like. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jam, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. I got approved for the for five Amex cards in 13 months. Uh, two are charge cards. Good, good. Congratulations. All right, let's see. Rashad, if they don't turn it around, I'm going uh, to go for the ink preferred. Uh, so I have a card to transfer all my points to. Okay, so Rashad is basically saying if they don't turn it around, uh, I'm going to go to the ink preferred. So... I have a card to transfer all my points to. I already have the ink cash and the ink uh, and the freedom card. Okay, and what they might do too, and some people have put this out there, so you might have some cards that you can kind of take some credit from those cards and move it to get your 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 credit up there to ten thousand, so you can get approved for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. You're just not going to know that unless you call them and they tell you, okay, yeah, you know what, you need to move some credit around. So if you already have some cards, maybe they can do that for you. Uh, the I mean I don't know how often you use the ink cash card, but uh, do you really need a, a large credit limit on that card? Probably not. Uh, the freedom card the same thing. You probably don't need a large limit on the on the freedom card. Uh, the they cap it out at what fifteen hundred uh, a quarter for their rotating category. So that would just be a card that you use just to hit that you get that five points for every dollar spent in whatever category it is, and then you're you, then you're done. You know so. I think that would work out. All right, we got a super chat in the building. Thank you very much. How to get an 800 credit score. All right, this brother has a channel too, and I think he was doing a live stream. Uh, I guess he's not doing it now, but he was doing a live stream earlier. So make sure you check his channel out. I think he do, does live streams on Wednesday, uh, every Wednesday. So uh, talks about how to how to build your credit. So those of us that are in the room right now that are struggling with their credit and thinking, oh, I don't know if I can get this card. I need to get my credit up. Uh, then this is a perfect channel to go to because he has a lot of information there uh, for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, please uh, check him out. And thank you very much for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Any other questions? And make sure you guys uh, vote, too, on this little poll. It, it'll be ongoing, but I, I kind of want to get get a good consensus uh, tonight. If you have cards that you want to add, someone did say that they want the Amazon card back on there, so we will add that one uh, to our list here. One thing I like about doing this list, and just, just so you guys know, let me flip over to the screen real quick so you can see this. So this is where we are so far with it with the uh, giveaway. So we're, we're doing a vote for the giveaway. So every live stream that I come on, I will open it up at least at some point so people can, can go ahead and vote on what card they want, uh, gift card that they want for the next... Uh, the next the next giveaway so right now we have Hyatt we have United we have American Airlines we have JetBlue Delta Priority Pass uh, and Priority Pass I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that just to see like if you can get my whole thought was to get a free a free uh, pass like a, a day pass or something like that so you can at least experience it if you don't already have a Priority Pass Marriott uh, Hilton Target and IHG so those are the cards that we have out right now uh, the way that you vote is just like this right here. You put I or exclamation point vote, all lowercase, and then 
uh, Hyatt or whatever, you know, whatever the, the brand is. Make sure you capitalize the first letter uh, so they so they will take your vote. OK, if you don't do it exactly the way it's on here, it will not record. OK, so you might be looking on here and saying, well, I voted for this and I voted for American Airlines, but there's only one one vote or no. I've, wait, is it American? Yeah, I voted for American Airlines. There's only one vote. But there was like two or three people who voted for it. Well, if you didn't put it exactly the way that it that it's uh, shown here, then it's not gonna it's not gonna record. Okay, and there's nothing I can do. Like I can't really change it. The only thing I'll do in the future is I'll probably put all caps for whatever you're voting for. Uh, that way I can just say all caps when when people write it in there. Yes, it is case case sensitive, so it will not uh, give you that information or it won't record if you don't have the right information in there and we are 46 likes so please we have four more likes four more likes to hit 50 uh and that's that's our goal for for tonight so please if you guys are in here and you have not hit the like button can you please do so uh, that way we'll be able to promote it out to more people uh, and we want to make these live streams as large as possible i want to have as many people in here the more people in here the better because we can all share information Right. Uh, we, we had Rashad here that he applied for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. He wasn't able to get it. Uh, and the good thing about it is we have a lot of people in here that we can all share our experiences because we've all been there. Uh, at least most of us have been there where we've applied for a card and got pending or got declined. Uh, so uh, we can share with you what we did. And that's one of the reasons why I love doing live streams, because it gives us an opportunity to just talk about it. Right. Put stuff out there and we can talk about it. And it, it's much different than if I put out a video and then you guys are commenting down below. There's a there's a time, you know, there's a lag in between where you write a you write a question or you say something. And, then, you know, there's there's a time in between. But here this is pretty instant. If you have a question, you can put it out there and most people will um, will be able to help you out uh, right away. OK, let's see. Uh, Rolo, let's see. Gym membership points on a world of Hyatt is worthless since most of it, most if not all gyms, uh, take money out of your checking account. Uh, I have gym membership and they, they yeah, they, they take my credit card. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I have, uh, I go with Choose Fitness. So that's my experience. They, they, they take it out of my credit card. So. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I I understand why they w probably where they wouldn't, because they don't want that expiration date on there. If it's coming straight out of your bank account, then there's no expiration date. You need to re up your card and all that. But Choose Fitness does it. I don't know if you guys have Choose Fitness in your area, but uh, they they do it. Okay, Supreme Deals. What's going on? Uh, let's see, uh, could I ever downgrade the World of Hyatt card? No, you can't. Uh, there's there's no well I shouldn't say no to my knowledge I don't think there's a card that you can downgrade to they don't have like a no annual fee card so that would be something that yeah I don't I don't think it's possible I really don't you can call Chase to find out it's a Chase card so you can call Chase to find out if there's a, a downgrade path for that card maybe you could do a product change to a freedom card or something like that uh, that might be possible but uh, if you want to get like a Hyatt card, like downgrade to another Hyatt card, there there aren't any cards uh, that are available. But uh, Supreme, the, the, the World of Hyatt card pays for itself every year. Every year. Without you doing anything, uh, it pays for itself. Because you're going to get the free, the free night. And you're paying, what, $95 annual fee. You're getting a free night. Most hotel rooms that you stay in are going to be at least $95, at least. I mean, I, I can't really think of too many, unless you're out of the country and you're staying in a, a really affordable uh, destination, you're, 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 that annual, or the annual fee, I'm sorry, the, the hotel room might be, uh, might be cheaper. Like Thailand, for example, I was in Phuket, Thailand. I stayed at a high place. It was $50 a night. Uh, but if you're in the U.S. and you're staying in a hotel, Usually it's going to be around ninety five dollars or more. So, and if it's not, then wait until it is. <laughs> like you could be selective of when you stay. Right, it's a free night that you can use. So, uh, make sure it's it's a good night. Like it's it's one of those times where the rooms are two hundred or three hundred dollars a night, and then use that to, to book or to stay, uh, or stay. Use you can use it for for family members too. So you don't have to just use it for yourself. 
Okay, let's see. So, yeah. So, my whole thing, Supreme, is that's a good card to get because you're going to get your value every year without touching the card. You don't have to use a card at all. You'll get your value. Now, if you do use a card, then you, you're going to get even more value. So, if you're staying at higher properties, you're going to get even more value out of that card uh, because you get nine points for every dollar spent using that card uh, at hotels. So, that's a that's a pretty good a pretty good setup. Okay, James. Let's see. I know you don't recommend credit card churning. I'd like to know what your reasoning behind it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not a fan of credit card churning because it, it it's it puts you in some some really questionable situations. Let's just put it that way. So uh, let's say I'm churning cards. I'm I'm. I'm spending above my means for for one. If I do it that way, like if I'm if I'm not doing the manufacturer spending, which is a whole nother thing. But let's say I spend on average three thousand dollars in three months, or yeah, let's say three thousand dollars in three months. Well, if I'm churning, I'm getting a bunch of cards, so I'm getting maybe two or three cards a month, and now I need to do some type of manufactured spending or something in order to hit these sign-up bonuses with these cards. And uh, then you're also you're 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 putting yourself in a situation where you could be blacklisted from these different banks because now you're getting all these credit cards. You're hitting the because what churning is you're getting credit cards, you're getting the sign up bonus, and then you're shelving the card or putting it in your sock drawer, and then later canceling the card. But your whole idea is not to use the card to earn. Your idea is to hit the sign up bonus and then go on to the next card. So. Credit card companies hate that, right? They're not getting their chance. They're not getting a chance at their money. Like I'll give them a chance. I'll give them a chance. I'll I will tease them by using the card, and then they're gonna think, okay, well, you know, one day, one day he's gonna slip up and not pay that that um, that the uh, credit card off, and then we'll get him on interest. They're never gonna get me on interest, but I will tease them so they'll think that they're gonna get me. Like you know, I will use the card the way that it's intended. And if I pay it off every month, I pay it off every month, right? And that is that is what I will do. That's, you know, there's no question about it. That's what I'm doing. I'll never spend beyond my means. When you start getting into these these churning and, and getting a bunch of credit cards, now you're starting to, to pay or starting to spend above your your normal spending patterns. And you're not doing anything with those credit cards after after you get the card. And uh, come on, credit cards know, or credit cards, uh, biz, uh, banks know. They know when people are churning and when people aren't. And that's why they have the 524 rule. And that's why they have all these different rules in place because they know how people, some people are doing this. So they're trying to put a stop to it that way. If that doesn't work, then they're just going to start pulling points from people. And you see that they have like tiered bonuses now. World of Hyatt has a tiered bonus where you have to spend three thousand dollars within the first three months and they'll give you twenty five thousand points and then you spend another three thousand in the next uh three months and then they'll give you another twenty five thousand points so they know they're on to the game and if you keep trying to play that game eventually they're just going to shut it down for everyone and 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 start taking points away from people when they suspect that they're doing something they shouldn't be doing so that's my whole thing and you have a lot of people who will do this churning to try to get to a million points so now they have all these points and they can do this and do that and do I, i'm i am satisfied with the travel that i'm doing now going three or four times a year i don't need to churn i don't need to churn and i'm able to still fly business class first class whenever i want to i'm able to go on trips whenever i want to and use points for those trips so I'm more conservative when it comes to these cards and I don't want to be put in a situation where they're in you know, they're investigating me. They put my, they freeze my account so they can look into the, to see if I'm like trying to do manufactured spending or, or something like that. So that's just the way I feel about it. Um, I, I just don't think it's, it's, it's a good strategy. Uh, some people, it works for them. Uh, we have, we have some people, people on here, um, I don't know if in the room right now, but we have some people that they churn. That's that's what they do. They 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 that's what they do. But you can get to a point where it, think long term. Think, I mean, because churners they're not thinking long term, but think long term. 
if I get solid cards that I can use year after year after year after year and still earn enough points to travel three to four times per year, I can keep doing this for 20 years or, or more. But if I'm churning cards, I'm getting the card and I'm just turning it over. And then I'm waiting for another two years when I can get the card again and hit the sign up bonus and waiting and then doing that. I mean, it's a lot of work and some cards you only get a sign up bonus once and then you're not going to get it anymore. So once you use it, it's gone. So the longevity, you might get those points all up front, but guess what? Five years down the road, 10 years down the road, you're not able to get those cards anymore. And so now you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be doing what, what I'm doing now where you're, you're doing the, 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 the conservative method because you've run out of all the cards where wouldn't it be nice if I can do this and then maybe twice a year, get a new card, hit a sign up bonus. And I can just keep doing that. I can run it out for a lot longer uh, than, than the churners can, but they think, Oh yeah, you know, I'm getting all these points up front. Well, that's, that's fine. You get all the points up front, but you, you might, <laughs> you might, how can I say this? You might not feel a need to work using the cards anymore. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to think like if I had a million points right now, I would probably be using a lot more points, but now I'm more selective in, you know, what I use my points for. And where like, I guess what I'm saying is if you have a lot of points, then you might be open to just say, okay, well, I'm going to use points for the whole trip. There are a lot of situations now where like the grand height, uh, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to be staying in the Grand Hyatt in Bogota. I'm not using points for that. It's a hundred dollars a night points. The value is not there. It's 12,000 points in order to stay a night. So I'm getting less than one cent per point. If I were to try to book it as a free night, but if I have a million points, I'd probably be like, ah, I don't worry about it. You know what? I'll, I can just go ahead and use points for that. So just things to think about, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of churners and I'm definitely not a fan of fan of manufacturer spending. I think that is like if you can churn and not spend above your means, then I think you're in a better situation than people who are churning, but they're and they're doing the manufacturer spending. I think that ultimately is they're they're going to get caught up and at some point they're going to they're going to they're going to have to pay the price. So uh, that that's just the way I look at it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, and that was, I know that was a long answer. <laughs> long answer, James. Let's see how to get a good. Okay. Uh, LT, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. I knew here. Uh, Ace Live sent me. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah, I was watching his live stream yesterday. I don't know if you put one out today or not. I've, I've been on here. But uh, yeah, if those of you don't know, this is Ace Live. So this is Ace Live. Go to that channel. Uh, this brother is out in, where is he right now? He's in Thailand. He's in, uh, Pattaya, 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 Thailand. And he's been traveling. He's been traveling for about, I think they said eight months, but I think it's longer than that. I think he's been out longer than that. But anyway, man, he, he's been out there just traveling and that's what he does. He's got his YouTube channel and he's making money on his YouTube channel. He uses that money to travel and he's just been going nonstop. I had an opportunity to meet up with him in uh, in Colombia, in Barranquilla for Carnival. And really cool dude, man. Really cool, down to earth. And uh, so you, you got to go over to his channel. He's got some <laughs> real good content on there. And he uh, he's he's doing lives now. He's doing a lot more lives, uh, live streams. So he'll be on. And it, it's cool because he's just walking the street talking. And so you get to see Thailand and and see see what's going on there and you're seeing it live so it's real cool but uh yeah thanks for stopping by man i really appreciate it, lt and uh let's see do you have any question here how many credit cards is it okay to have uh does or does this not apply in this chat well yeah we talk about credit cards so i have right now I have eight credit cards and there's no set limit that or set amount that that it really doesn't work that way uh, what I would say, though, is don't get a bunch of credit cards at once. So let's say in a year's time, I think it's safe to get four to five cards in a year. But you don't want to be one of those people that tries to just open up all this new credit. Because if you want to get a car, if you want to get a mortgage, they look at that. They're going to look at 
what what's going on with your with your credit and they're going to see all these new accounts that have been opened in a short period of time and what banks look at or the way banks see that is they see that as someone unstable uh, someone that might be trying to <laughs> like open up all this credit so they can just blow all you know like max out all their credit cards and then run <laughs> or something like that that's the way banks see it so you don't want to have a bunch of credit uh, new credit uh, open at once. Plus, anytime they do a hard pull, your credit score will drop a little bit, usually from five to six points. So you have to be aware of that too. So if you spread it out a little bit, uh, what happens is your credit. So let's say I apply for a credit card, my credit's going to drop five to uh, five to six points, and then two or three months later, my credit is going to it's going to go back up. Okay, and in most cases, it will go up higher than what it was before. Because now I have an open line of a new line of credit and that new line of credit will mean that my credit utilization. uh, So credit utilization is basically how much credit I have available compared to how much credit I'm actually using. And I always I'm I'm always telling everyone don't don't carry a balance on your credit card. Always pay it off every month. So if you're paying it off every month, you should be fine. Your credit utilization will stay around where it is. And then if you get new credit cards, you're just in you're just increasing the credit available but you're not increasing how much credit you're using so I hope that makes sense so credit utilization is 30 percent of your FICO score so if you're able to keep that low keep it under 10 percent then your, your credit will really um, benefit from that the lower you get your credit utilization the higher your FICO score will go up and like I said it's a big part 30 percent that's a huge part so the only thing that's that's higher than that is late payments. So if you have late payments, then that's 35% of your, your FICO score. So those two things, if you can handle those two things, your credit, just that alone will, will improve your credit. Uh, so, yeah, so as far as the, the, the exact number, it depends on how long you've been, been getting credit cards. So let's say every year you get five credit cards. So in 10 years time, what is that? (laughs) What's my math? No, in five years time, you have 25 credit cards. That's not bad because you spread it out throughout that, that whole thing. Now, if you get 25 credit cards in a year and a half, yeah, that, that's not going to look good to, to, um, to creditors. Okay. Uh, yeah, but good question, LT. Good question. Darren, let's see. I may cancel on my platinum. All right, (laughs) Darren, I always recommend not canceling cards, but uh, if that's something that you have to do, that's something you have to do. I understand it's a $550 annual fee. Uh, I would look for downgrade paths uh, before canceling. Uh, But yeah, that's that's one of those deals where, yeah, you you don't want to cancel if if possible because you want to keep that credit line open. You want to keep that that credit line open. So yeah. All right, let's see here. Other questions. And I don't even know. Amex Platinum, can you downgrade that card? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. But uh, yeah, if you can downgrade, then then try to try to downgrade instead of cancel. <laughs> and seven saying, uh, don't say it too soon, they will get you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Mr. Choco. What's going on, Choco? So, Choco, if you look at our little our little scroll down there, it just says right there, right now, right now, winning, winning. So I have you in my little scroll for the win. So anyone that wins the month prior, yeah, the month prior will be in my little scroll. So you're going to be there for the whole month until we have another winner. So uh, Choco won the won the giveaway that we had on Saturday. So for those of you who don't know, we do have a giveaway. Okay, so every, the last Saturday of the month, we do a giveaway. And the way that you earn points is by watching the show. That's all you have to do. If you watch the show every 10 minutes, you get 10 points. And then you'll also get points if you're in the chat, you're chatting back and forth, you're gonna get points for that. Uh, If you subscribe to the channel, so if you're new here and you have not subscribed to the channel, do so, you get 50 points just for subscribing. And, And then at the end of the month, then you'll be able to buy raffle tickets. And right now we have the raffle tickets going about $50 or $50. Gosh, I'm sorry. 50 points. It's not money. It's not money at all. All you need to do is watch. So you pay for it by watching. But if you subscribe to the channel, you get the 50 points. That's enough for uh, one raffle ticket. Okay. 
So, and then depending on how many points you have at the end of the month, you can buy more and more and more raffle tickets and you have a better chance at winning. So Mr. Choco had four, four raffle tickets and he won. Uh, some other people bought 20 raffle tickets. So he got really lucky. So good. Good on him though. He's got his, uh, his Amazon gift card. We're also voting too. So if you put I, or exclamation po- point vote, then you'll be able to vote on the different, um, different things. If you look at the scroll here, Streamlabs is a little bot that I have working here and he will let you know what you can vote on and how to vote for them. So what, what we have available, Hyatt, American, United, all that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking in Choco. Uh, the new Amex. Uh Oh, lost my place here. All right. I always tell myself I'm only going to do an hour and and me and Jason talked about this earlier. Yeah, we'll just do an hour. We'll do an hour. But then I get caught up in these questions. I like to at least go through all the questions to see if there are any questions that people have that I can answer uh, before I end the live. So uh, that that's just the way I like to roll. So if we have to go a little late, we have to go a little late, but uh, I don't want to make, I want to make sure that people aren't asking questions and I'm not able to at least uh, address them. Okay. And I definitely lost my place here. Let's see. Uh, Bruce, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I don't know where I was. Oh, man. Okay, the new Amex rules on uh, losing points if you don't pay on time may be a new way for Amex to try to curtail churners. Uh, yeah, but usually churners were, they're going to pay it off. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to, they're going to, churners will get the card and they'll pay it. They'll get the sign up bonus. And then they just, they just shelf those cards. Yeah. But I, 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 I would agree with this. Like, I think this is a good way for them to save, <laughs> save money. <laughs> I mean, you put that, you stipulate that now up, oh, you don't get your points. And if you don't get your points, then you know, they, they can save money in that because now you can't redeem points if you don't have them, right? So, uh, yeah, but I, I think most people, most churners, they're, they're going to make sure they hit the sign because all they're looking for is a sign-up bonus. So they're going to pay every month, get that sign-up bonus, and then they're gone. And they're on to the next card. Uh, let's see, seven saying... Uh, you should tell credit card companies to make cards that we want to keep. Yeah, it, it, they know. <laughs> they know. They're they're not going to give us all of, everything that we want. But yeah, they, obviously, if you make a if you make a like United had this this um, this problem with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So United Explorer card had a problem with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. They're both Chase cards, right? But one's a co-branded card, United. And then you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And they were upset because uh, United was upset because they can't compete with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And you're right. They can't compete with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. But that's their own fault, right? They could be competitive. The one way they can be competitive is by saying, okay, if you use the United card on United purchases, you're going to get five points for every dollar spent. Well, that beats anything that the Ch- that Chase can do or Chase Sapphire Reserve is doing. So in those cases, you're going to use the United card. They can open up different categories that Chase doesn't, Chase FI Reserve doesn't have. So give us grocery stores, three points for every dollar spent in grocery stores. I'm going to use the United card for grocery stores because I get three points for every dollar spent where I don't get that with, with the, uh, with the Chase FI Reserve. So you can get rid of like United can get rid of some of the stuff that they're offering, like the, uh, the restaurants, get rid of restaurants. Okay, you're not. If you're not going to have three points for every dollar spent at restaurants, don't use. Even if you had three points for every dollar spent at restaurants, people are still going to use the Chase Sapphire Reserve because those points are more flexible. So go use something else. Grocery stores. So don't have restaurants anymore. Have grocery stores. Three dollars for every dollar spent at rest at grocery stores. Now you have something. So they they can make a better card. They're just choosing not to and then complaining that no one's using their card. Uh, and then they force you. United forces you to use their card if you want to get their free check bag and the priority boarding. 
So if you're booking uh, airfare, you have to use their card in order to get those those benefits. And they will check when you go in and you try to get when you get your boarding pass and all that. They're going to check to see if if you've used that that uh, card for for your purchase. And if you haven't, then guess what? You're not going to get the, the free check bag and, and the priority boarding. So they need to make better cards. Bottom line. Don't complain. Make better cards. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jeremy saying, I'm thinking about the Amazon Business Prime card. Any thoughts? I have not looked into that card, uh, so I don't know the benefits of it. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Amazon Business Prime. The only problem... Jeremy, the only, okay, so I'm really stuck on travel, okay? And if you're not, then I get it, and and some of these cards will make sense uh, for you. You can use them as cashback or, or whatever you want to do with them. But I'm stuck on travel, and that those are the cards that I focus on. So I'm always looking for a card that will give me an opportunity to transfer points over to these different um, uh, companies, airline, hotel, so I can travel for free or almost free, right? So that's my goal. So... Uh, if you have a business, that might not be your goal. If you have a business, you just want to spend and get this cash back and use that cash back to make purchases and stuff like that. I totally understand that. So I'm not really up on these the business uh, cards like that. Uh, but like the business cards I am interested in are like the Chase Inc. cards because now I'm earning points with those cards and I can use those points for travel. So yeah, that's kind of how I that's how I roll. What's going on, Charles? Thanks for stopping by. Let's see, i.e. the City Prestige was an awesome card until uh, slowly removing all the benefits. So that's seven saying that. Yeah, you know what? The City Prestige card is still a good card. And I, I've, I've changed my strategy when it comes to travel now. And I'm, I'm open to that card still because I'm going third-party uh, travel insurance now. Uh, I'm no longer using the credit card travel insurance that I have. Uh, I, I I mean I, I still I'm still using the credit cards. I'm still using United card when I book for United, and I'll use a Chase Sapphire Reserve if I'm booking for for Chase or booking uh, booking anything that's not United. But third party travel insurance is good to have because the medical emergency insurance is 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 always or I won't say always is much better uh, in most situations. So the Chase Sapphire Reserve is the only card that I know of right now that gives you something for medical emergency. It's like $2,500. But when you get these third-party insurance, uh, go through the third-party insurance companies, it cost me $37, and I got 100000 for medical emergency. So God forbid something happens when I'm out on a trip. I'm, I, I know I have some money that I can that I can use for, for emergency situations. And if I need to be medevac out of there to an area where they have where they can treat me like let's say it's out of the country let's say it's back in the states well i i have that i have uh, the insurance that i just got it's a million dollars so uh, they will pay up to a million dollars to get me back to the u.s or to the closest place where they can they have adequate uh, equipment or what have you to 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 treat me so, yeah, I'm all on it now when it comes to that. I'm all on the, the travel insurance, getting the third party. And then so that that in itself, city is still the city prestige card is still a good card. You still get that fourth night free. Um, fourth night or fifth night? <laughs> I just forgot. The fourth night, right? You still get that. You still have that benefit twice per year. And the earn possibility on that card is really good. So it's still a card that you can use, but you will have to go – go the route of, of a, a third party uh, travel insurance, which like I said, is, is, is something that we should be doing anyway, I think. And I, I mean, just for, for, just for medical alone, it's something that we should be doing. Now, if I want to use my, like, let's say I use the Chase FI reserve, uh, some of the benefits on there are, are better when it comes to losing your bags or or miss or when they misplace your bags, bag baggage delay fees and cancellations and all that stuff. Uh, so I can still use it as long as I use a card. I still have access to that. But on top of that, I have another another uh, no, uh, more travel insurance too that I can draw on if I need to. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on here. See if we have anything else. Yeah, please, uh, guys, hit the like button. Please hit the like button and. 
Also, subscribe to the channel if you are if you have not subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. We're on a road to ten thousand subscribers. We want to hit ten thousand subscribers by December twenty eighth. That is my birthday, and that would be the 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 best birthday gift that I can get. Uh, so if you guys can can help us out and then in that by just subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell notification. Anytime I go live, you're going to know about it. Saturdays I have live streams. Mondays I do a live stream with uh, Flashpoint Capitals with, with Jason. And then uh, I also just jump on. So I'll jump on if there's something that I want to talk about, if there's something new that's just come out or some type of announcement or anything like that, then I'll jump in. I'll jump in, do a live stream. Uh, so you will be the first to know if you hit the little bell notification because they will uh, let you know that I'm doing a live stream. Okay. And Seven saying, nice, I'm going to Pattaya in late October. Okay, Seven, you you have to jump over to Ace's channel. He's out there right now, and he's having the time of his life. And like I said, he's live streaming it. So he's walking down the street with his phone and just <laughs> live streaming the whole thing. So go to This Is Ace Live, all one word. And you'll you'll see you'll see his videos. He's also gone to Colombia, Mexico, uh, he's Vietnam, and now he's in now he's in Thailand. And he's just traveling. He's as he says, he's on the run. He's traveling all over all these different countries. He will go back to Colombia. I'm going to meet up with him again uh, for Carnival. So yeah, you you, you got to go over to his channel. He's got he's got some really good content there. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and move on through here. Braveheart, 150 TC points. Uh-oh. All right. Thank you for the uh, update on the, the likes there. 52 likes. We're now at 54. Wow, wow. Okay, so if you guys are here and you have not hit the like button, please do so. The more likes we get, the better. If we can get as many likes as possible, uh, at some point I'm going to start... Raising the bar and say, hey, let's hit 60 likes each each uh, video. Uh, but the more likes, the better, because it will allow our video to really uh, get out there. And people will see that we're doing live streams. We're one of the only channels. I mean, Waller's Wallet's doing some lives now. Uh, Flashpoint's doing some lives with me. He hasn't I don't, he hasn't done a live on his own yet. Uh, will Schropp, he's doing some live streams too. So we have a few people in the, the travel credit card space that are doing live streams. Uh, we also have how to get a cre uh, 800 credit score. He does live streams, and um, so we, there's there's some there's some people out there. But uh, where was I going with that? <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, hit the hit the like button. That way they'll promote it out, and people will get to see. Okay, yeah, they're doing live streams. I want to be a part of the live stream, so uh, it really helps. Okay, Jeremy saying yeah, TEC uh, has taken off. I'm glad to see that. Cool, Jeremy. Thank you, man. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're on that road, 10,000. We want to hit the 10,000 subscribers. It will just allow me to do more things when it comes to the channel. Uh, once you hit that milestone of 10,000, YouTube really starts to uh, to help you out with uh, workshops and things like that, things that you're not able to do if you're, if you're under 10,000. And you're saying, workshops, where do you do a workshop? Well, they have YouTube spaces. And there's a YouTube space in LA, which is about 45 minutes from me. And they, they do workshops, so they will teach you how to do YouTube, like how to be a better YouTuber. They also have, it's a studio, so you can go in there, you can do collabs and all that stuff. Uh, so it will just allow the channel to grow even more because now I'm learning from the YouTube professionals how to make uh, better YouTube uh, videos. And then I'm, I'm um, you know, hooking up with different people from, from uh, different channels, and then we can do different collaborations and stuff too. So that is the focus. Get up to 10,000. Once we hit 10,000, if we can do that by the end of the year, then we can start off 2020 on the right track and really grow the channel. And the larger the channel grows, the better, because that would mean that this whole community will will be able to help each other when it comes to travel, uh, travel credit cards. And travel, too. And just so you know, when I go out, when I go to Columbia, I'm going to be on here a lot. Now, well, I don't know about live streams, like... I'm gonna have to figure this out, and I probably have to use my phone more than than anything. And I'm 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 gonna get a new phone before I go. Uh, I'm gonna try a different. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried Google Fi, but uh, I'm gonna get one of the Pixel. I think the Pixel. What is it? Pixel 3a. I think it's like the $400 phone. So I'm gonna get that phone, and because it has a really good camera on it, and start using that phone for for live streams when I'm out uh, out and about. 
so when I travel is what I'm saying. So that is a plan. So I will be out there when I'm in Columbia. You guys are going to be seeing me doing some uh, some lives. So okay, let's let's see here. Okay, so Supreme uh, deals is saying, do uh, let's see, do the anniversary world of Hyatt Knights roll over? Question mark. They give you a date. They give you an expiration date on the on the. I don't even know what my expiration dates are. <laughs> they do give you an expiration date on it, and so you have to use it by the expiration. Uh, let's see. All right, and Jeremy's just saying, yeah, no, they don't. So yeah, like I said, they give you the expiration date. Once it's over, it's over. So they're, you're not going to be able to accumulate, yeah, you know, like <laughs> do it for five years and then have five nights that you can use. Okay. Oh, and we do have a subscriber. Who is? Where is it? Okay, we got two subscribers. So Mike, thank you for subscribing, and Holiday, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Thank you both uh, for subscribing. You guys just got 50 points too. So if you check your points right now, exclamation point, exclamation point points, <laughs> and then it will show you how many points you have. So you should have at least 50. Uh, and then it depends on how long you've been watching. You'll have more. Habisha, what's going on? I applied for the Barquet's Aviator card and they told me they needed more time to decide, but uh, they're not sending any emails or... Okay, so I don't know how long it's been, but I would, I mean, you can contact them. You can call, you can call, contact them with the, uh, the, the uh, consideration or the reconsideration line. You can use that and, and see. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see here. All right, I had a, I had a message there I had to look at. Okay, so uh, anything else, guys? Let's see. Do, 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 do. The City Proceed still offers the Fortnite free, but you can only use it twice a year. Yep, yep, yep. Portal, higher rate, can use hotel status. Yeah, so, I mean, they, they, they've cut stuff. I, I, I totally agree with you, uh, Seven, when it comes down to it. I'm just saying it's still not a bad card. It's still... The, the the benefits that they that they're cutting are benefits that maybe you should be looking into third party insurance for anyway, uh, just to cover all of your, you know, all of your insurance. Uh, most most medical insurance is not going to cover you outside of the country, so being able to get some uh, third party insurance for medical, I mean that that's the most important thing. Like, you only have one body, right? So it, you want to be, you want to make sure you take care of that. Okay, so. And maybe that's one of their, their strategy. They start thinking about things. Okay, we need to cut stuff. What do we cut? Well, if we cut this, they still have access because they can get they can get the uh, third-party travel insurance. What would have been really nice is if they would have given us credit for that. Maybe give you a $120 travel insurance credit or something like that. That would have been really nice. Okay. And Nate and Jess saying, uh, where do you recommend going for uh, taking a trip to Hawaii? Uh, so if I'm going to Hawaii, it depends on what you want. Because Maui, Maui is a nice place for both. Like both, you you have, you can go to kind of a big city life. Or you can, you can live more of a city life. Or you can go to more of a, a laid back, uh, you know, laid back areas of, of Maui. Uh, Oahu is going to be big city life everywhere uh, for the most part. Uh, that's how that Oahu is. So Honolulu, it's going to be pretty busy. Uh, if you go to Kauai, Kauai is a really laid back area. I like going to Kauai myself because it, it's just laid back everywhere. And everything shuts down at like 7 o'clock. <laughs> so uh, it's a good place to go for like if you're on a honeymoon or if you just want to relax and and just be away from everything. It's It's a really good place to go. Plus, if you like hiking and stuff like that, uh, it's a great place. I have not hiked <laughs> there, but they have a lot of good hiking trails, and like eighty percent of the island has is un, is is not inhabitable, or like you you can't. There are not houses there, so you have to hike in to a large portion of uh, of Kauai. So yeah, it's a it's a nice place, really uh, really good, and you see like you see a lot of backpackers and stuff. And people hitchhiking and stuff like that. It's pretty amazing. Okay. 
Uh, Mr. Choco is saying, I'm the live king. Thank you. <laughs> In the credit card community. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. We're going to keep doing them. We're going to keep doing them, guys. Uh, let's see. Braveheart saying, get the Note 10. Uh, 10 plus. I'm not... The reason that I'm getting the, the Pixel is because the Pixel works best with Google Fi. And this is going to be a phone that I use for travel. Uh, that bottom line. Like, I... I'm tired. I would rather pay up front and get, you know, get this, this, than pay. It's usually costing me like $80, 60 to $80 every time that I travel because I'm, I'm, uh, changing my plans every time that I travel and I have Verizon. So it gets a little pricey. And so that's the reason that I want to just get an, another phone and, and have that phone. I already have, you know, the phone that I have now I'll, I'll still keep. But having a, having that Google Fi phone is, is good because I can set it up whenever I want and and, and use it like that. So that, that's that's just my goal. Or not my goal. That's just my plan. So we'll see how it plays out. I might get that Pixel phone and like it so much that I just <laughs> get rid of my uh, Verizon phone. But, uh, yeah, that, that's a plan. So I'm not trying to get, like, the best phone right now. I have a Note right now. I have an older one, though, like a Note 5. So I'm not trying to get the best phone at the moment. I'm just trying to get a phone that I can use that has a good camera uh, and that I can have Google Fi on. Google Fi works best with, with Google, a Google phone. Okay, Bruce Law, what's up? Let's see. All right, guys, we're getting down to the end here. Okay, so if any other questions, guys, go ahead and put them in the chat. Seven saying, uh, is San Diego similar to Hawaii? Uh, I've never been to Hawaii. Uh, you, uh, yeah, <laughs> San Diego's not not similar to Hawaii. No, um, San Diego is yeah. Hawaii is a lot more tropical, so you're gonna have all the green, green grass and like almost like a rainforest. It rains pretty much. It's, it depends on where you where you're going, but like in Kauai, it rains every day, but it's like for an hour and then it ends well the last time that we went it pretty much rained the whole time we were there but that's unusual usually it'll rain for like an hour and then and then it, the the sun will come out but uh yeah it's it's not like san diego I, I i don't know i don't know where you travel to but uh i compare uh hawaii to like when i go to medellin it, it's very similar to that uh there's no <laughs> there's no beach <laughs> in medellin but certain parts of Medellin is very, very tropical, and it does rain a lot there as well. Okay. And uh, Nate and Jess is saying, is there a Hyatt in Kauai? Yes, there's the uh, Grand Hyatt. I actually stayed there on my last trip. I stayed there for a night. Actually, I need to I need to sit down and do a video on that, uh, just that experience. Uh, so, yeah, I stayed at the Grand Hyatt. A beautiful property. Beautiful property. 12,000, no, 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 25,000 a night, uh, 25,000 points a night. So that that's what they're asking for, uh, for that property. But it's very nice, and you're right on the water. Like, you're right on the beach. Uh, they have a really nice property, uh, nice pools. The pools are, it, 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 it's nice. It, it's definitely worth staying. I've stayed there, and I stayed at the Garden Inn, the Hil a Hilton property, and I didn't like the Garden Inn at all. So, yeah, it just gives you an idea. Uh, but they do, I think they have they have some other Hilton properties too, at least maybe one other. Okay, what, where are we? I think I missed something here. Jeremy's saying, uh, didn't you say you wanted to call something else besides TEC? I thought I saw uh, that in one of... Your other live streams yesterday. Wait. Uh, no, no, it was tech. I think it was <laughs> it was tech. So uh, Cakeology was calling me tech, which I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. But yeah, so just TEC, same thing, but just tech. Let's see. Uh, what is Google Fi? The Supreme asking that. So basically, Google Fi is, uh, you, you'll have to just Google it. <laughs> Google, Google, Google Fi. Well, basically, it's a, it's like a SIM card that you put in your phone. I don't even know if you have to put them in your phone anymore. I think you can just program your phone to have it uh, if you have like a, a, a Pixel a phone. But basically, it will allow you, you pay, I think it's $20 or $25 a month, and then you pay for your data. So your data, 
I can't remember the exact number. It's like ten dollars for every certain amount of gigabytes. But it's one of those phones that you can turn off. So if I'm not using, if I'm not traveling, I can have the phone but just have it off. And then I can turn it on. And of course you, you pay the twenty dollars for that. And then you can use your use your uh, data that way. So just something I want to try out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I think for travel, it would be really be good for me. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then I'll have that, that Pixel uh, phone and it'll be unlocked. So I'll, I'll be able to use it with, with my Verizon. Uh, so if it doesn't work, I can just, that'll be my new phone <laughs> for Verizon. Uh, so my big thing when it comes to phones, I'm not really all into all the bells and whistles when it comes to phones. I just want a phone that works, allows me to text. And my one thing that I that I do notice when I travel, I like to be able to uh, use WhatsApp. And on my last trip, uh, when I was in Colombia, we I mean we were meeting up like we had a there's like nine of us out there in Carnival, and generally I don't uh, in the past I, I haven't gotten data like I get data but I get you know, I don't have that much data that I can use, but it was crucial to have data uh, on this last trip when we were in Carnival because we were trying to meet up with each other. And so uh, you weren't always around places that had Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. So having data is, was, was something that I needed and I didn't have, uh, or I had, I didn't have it at first. And then I had to call them and say, Hey, I need, I need data. And I had to pay, Ooh, I was paying a lot of money for that. So yeah, just something I'm looking into. We'll see how it works. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get, uh, Get down here. Okay, so seven saying Google Fi is good if you don't use a lot of data and you use uh, and use out of the country. Yeah, so and you, I think they max it out. So the most that I would pay. Okay, so right now I pay, I could pay easily eighty dollars for when I when I travel, um, if I'm using data pretty much unlimited. Uh, Google Fi will max out, so I think it's sixty bucks is the most that you'll pay for data. Like if you're paying ten dollars and increasing your data, the most you'll pay sixty bucks. So sixty bucks plus twenty dollars, uh, so that's eighty bucks uh, for that for that time period. But you're you're unlimited data at that point, right? Uh, I don't know if they ramp the data down. They might do that. I don't know if they do that or not, but uh, it, it at least gives you a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like Southwest flights. Uh, they uh, let you use WhatsApp over Wi-Fi uh, for free without having to pay extra. That's cool. I didn't know they let you do that. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, that is some. That's a good benefit there. Uh, it's kind. I guess it's kind of like JetBlue. They have the the free Wi-Fi. Uh, let's see. When you are getting an Amex, or wait, when are you getting Amex? Uh, I've been following you for like a year and I'm waiting. <laughs> Are you going to get anything? Uh, right now, I'm on hold with everything um, because I'm looking to get a mortgage. So uh, that that's kind of what I'm, what I'm, where I'm at right now. Uh, there are cards that I want to get, obviously, but uh, right now I don't need any cards. I'm in a good place. Let's just put it this way. I'm going to Columbia right now. I've already used my points for that. I have plenty of points for my next Columbia trip, which will be in, in February. And then the only other trip that I'm going to be setting up is going to be for summer of uh, 2020. And well, that'll, that will be the next trip that I haven't really planned out yet, but that will be uh, in the summer. And then maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe May, May, June, probably around that time. And then I'll want to do one, at least one more trip at the, the tail end of the year. So right now my points are fine. Like I, I have plenty of points. And so I don't need to even really consider getting another card until probably around March, April time of next year. So uh, one thing you do want to do, like if you know, one thing you don't want to do is if you know that you want to get uh, if you're looking to get a, 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 another mortgage or get uh, a car or something like that, you don't want to have a bunch of credit card inquiries uh, right before that because they look at that. They frown upon that, I should say. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, it's in the works, yeah. And it's one of those deals. I'm in a good place. Like, I don't, I don't need it. 
Like, I don't need those cards right now, so that that's good. When I say I don't need them, like, I don't need any additional points right now in order to, to make these trips work. Uh, so when I do get to that point, it's like, okay, well, now I have another whole ecosystem that I can that I can explore. Uh, Mr. Alexander, what's going on? Okay, so he's asking, what do you think about City's uh, customer service, overall user experience, quality? Uh, I've only had one City card, the City Premier card, and I made the mistake. I, I know I tell you guys, don't cancel the card. I actually canceled that card. Uh, I have I, actually, I've also had the City, or I also have right now the City Advantage card. Uh, I will say, City's banking, I don't recommend. <laughs> I've gone through. I've done okay. City does this thing that they will they will it actually Chase does the same thing. If you sign up, get their bank account, and then you go through a few steps: uh, deposit, direct deposit, and and uh, bill pay, and all that stuff. If you use those their their services for a certain amount of time, whatever time they give you, then they'll give you points for that. So fifty thousand points, sixty thousand points. I've done it a few times, and I just don't know like their bank. Their bank seems, they don't, there are a lot of things that they don't, I, how can I say this? I had to really call them on a few things. Like you, you, you sign up for the, 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 uh, the, the promotion, you get your checks, but you don't get your ATM card. And, and I had to call them about, I had to do this twice where I had to call them up and say, Hey, I never received my, my, uh, debit card. And you need to use a debit card in order to make uh, purchases and, and stuff like that. Because you have to do these certain things in order to to get the, the 50,000 points. And so that happened a couple of times. And then they sent me checks. But instead of sending me just one set of checks, they sent me like three or four sets of checks. So every week I was going to my mailbox and I, ha and I have more checks. I'm like, what are they doing? So it didn't seem like it was very organized. I'll just say that. And... So yeah, that that's my only real experience with City. Uh, but as far as the like thank you points and all that, I, I haven't really had any. I, had, I haven't had an experience with them with that. And Seven Cent, I'm waiting for the Centurion Lounge in LAX. I am waiting for that. I think that would really get me kind of like, oh man, I want to go in there. <laughs> right now, there's no, there's no, like, yeah. I don't really have a reason. Well, I shouldn't say I don't have a reason. It, it, I don't see it. It's not in my face yet. When I walk past that Centurion Lounge and it's there and I see people going in and out of there, I'm going to probably be like, oh, man, I want to go in there. So the the thing, though, about LAX is they have some good benefit or some good. Uh, they have P.F. Chang's. I will go to P.F. Chang's anytime that I go to LAX from here on out, uh, as long as I'm close enough to the international terminal. But uh, I will go there because you get the free you get the free meal, and I like PF Chang, so I, I will I will <laughs> I will go there as much as I can. And uh, if you're flying business class, first class, you're gonna get lounge access anyway, and usually those lounges are gonna be comparable to what you would get in Centurion. So it's not like a regular lounge. Like uh, for example, uh, I'll be flying out United. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be flying uh, Aviaca, but it's a Star Alliance partner. So I'm flying business class. So I already know going to LAX, I, I will be in the Star Lounge. I will be able to go to the Star Alliance Lounge, and I will be getting to the airport really early, probably five hours before my flight on uh, this this next this trip that's coming up in October, because I already have this set up. So I'll get there. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to be up chains. I'm getting a meal first thing I do when I get there. I'm going to get a meal, and then I'll go upstairs to the lounge because the lounge is right above the uh, right above pf chang's and then i'll hang out in the lounge for a little bit and then from there then if i have time i'll go back down and get a meal to go <laughs> and I, it's a red eye flight so actually i won't have time never mind <laughs> i just yeah I just talk because it's a red eye flight so i'm not flying until 12 30 or, or 12 something uh 12 a.m or something something like that so I can get there early, get a meal, but then I won't have another meal. So what I'll probably do is I will eat half of my meal and then have – actually, it's two meals that I can get, two entrees. So I'll just have one entree to go. Yeah, I'll do it like that. 
Uh, so I'll have food for my uh, flight. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have food anyway. I'll have breakfast. So anyway, yeah. I, so I have it planned out already. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and move through and wrap this up here. Thank you guys all for stopping by, like I said. And keep the voting coming. I'm going to keep uh, putting that, keep uh, reminding you guys to do that just because I want to know what uh, what you guys want as far as the uh, as far as the next gift card here. Uh, Choco said, congrats. I haven't gotten the new mortgage yet. <laughs> I'm looking into getting it. I have not gotten it yet. So I'm just slowing that all down for that. All right, let's see here. <laughs> live stream on your uh, mortgage processing experience. Ah, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it travel related. If that's something that you guys are interested in, then maybe maybe we can share a little bit. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Choco saying that you can delete inquiries after ninety days. I don't know about that. A hard pull, I don't think you can delete. Because it's going to be a hard pull. Like it'll, They'll do the hard pull and that will show up as a new account. So when they're looking at my credit, they're just looking at the new account. So they're going to say, okay, well, they, he got like three, four new credit cards. Why did he do that? And then they're going to, they're going to ask me about it. Oh, okay. And then Seven saying that City... Uh, Customer service is okay, uh, but city website is worse. A uh, separate login. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I, I agree with you 100%, Seven. They have the different, and they have the, the, the bank. So you have the bank login, and then you have the credit card login. And it's, it's, it's confusing. So you have to have two different, you know, two different login number or IDs. And, oh, yeah, it's, it's, that is a mess. Okay. <laughs> he said, you still write checks, question mark. No, I don't write checks, but they sent me the checks. Like, it's automatic. Like, I guess you sign up for a checking account, and they still send you checks. Uh, most banks do that still. They'll, they'll send you the checks. But instead of sending me one set of checks, they just kept sending them. And I had, like, four checks. Four four uh, different checks. And, or four check. You know, they sent, like, not. They sent the checks four different times, and then they never sent the debit card. So then I had to call them about the debit card. And it still took them a while to send the debit card. So just things like that. I, I it didn't look like they were organized. <laughs> James just said, "I'm really considering getting a Lion credit card uh, for some Flash." <laughs> Dolly, let's see. P of Chang's is great. Let's see. Yeah, I agree. It is. Uh, tell them. You are happy your Chase ecosystem. Uh, okay, okay, guys. I want to just kind of get through this. Uh, so we okay. So we're down at the bottom here. One more question. The hard pull will be or your history for two years. Yeah, that's what Seven saying. The hard pull will be. Yeah, the hard pull is going to be there, and they're going to see the fact that you have a credit card when you open the credit card. So uh, that that's my whole thing. Uh, you, you you don't want to have a lot of of stuff going on with your credit. Uh, when that when they're looking at when you're looking into getting a, a mortgage uh, so and i i've always been conservative anyways when it comes when it when it comes to credit cards i'm always conservative so uh, if i don't need to get a credit card i'm not going to get one and i'm kind of in that situation right now i don't need i don't need anything point wise i'm good and i can earn i can earn more like using my using the cards the way i'm using them now i'm earning i'm getting some good earn with the cards plus referrals and things like that. Uh, just, yeah. So if you guys don't know, I have referral links <laughs> uh, to all the credit cards that I can have referral links for. Chase Sapphire Reserve, you can't get referral links for that card for whatever reason. But Chase Sapphire Preferred, I do have, I still have the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Uh, and I've, just on that card alone, just so you guys know, like referral links, uh, they do, <laughs> they work. <laughs> I, I've i gotten 45,000 points on the Chase Sapphire Preferred alone, uh, just on referral links. So 
uh, talk to your friends, talk to your family. If, I mean, I have a YouTube channel, so it's a little bit easier. I can put the referral links there. And hopefully if you guys, you know, are so kind and you're going to get a credit card, then go down and see what the referral links I have to offer and, and, and use those links. I always recommend, if, if, even if it's not me, if you're on the Facebook group, we have a Facebook group, the referral links there. Uh, go there, use those referral links, and then put your referral link in there, and hopefully someone will use yours. Uh, but it's a good way to to help. We can help each other out that way, uh, and it doesn't cost that the the person anything uh, extra. It's just a a way of saying thank you. You know, like I'm on here talking with you guys, and we're all helping each other out in the chat when they have questions and stuff like that. So I think it's a it's a pretty good. Uh, a pretty a pretty good trade-off all right guys uh we're gonna go ahead and take off thank you guys all for stopping by and uh, we will be back on what is it today <laughs> we'll be back on saturday so we're back on saturday and i might be on sooner if something else comes up but <laughs> i'll let you guys know so make sure you're in the whatsapp group make sure you're in the facebook group the links are in the description also, when you subscribe to my channel, please hit that little bell notification so you can get future updates. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.